<laughs> all right, all right, I'm gonna do this shit. Jesus. The greatest Avengers One remake ever made. Let's go. Dummy thick. A dud. Did you like it? A dud. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They are demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the President of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Why Second, is pretty much the question for anything in this game. Have the Why? To make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. Feeling a little sleepy there, near me. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was the commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Manners, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot. Specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound Squad Leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? Weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. <laughs> going with me? As always, this is a one man. I was confused by the Discord too. It was entirely Safi's idea. I had no no way in that. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. <laughs> Uh, 
All right. Let me thank everybody here. We got uh, resubs, all the resubs coming in. The flail with 81, thank you. Solid Citadel with a new sub, thank you. Welcome aboard. So we won with 39 months. Prop Nomad with nine months, thank you. SB32 with 104, thank you. Awesome Brown with 109, thank you so much. Scary Louis with the 85. Ice Falls with the 73. Dirt Pitar with the 54. Zoko with 90. And Dr. Heartbeats with the 76. It says, I ironically love the over the top nature of this game. Feel free to ban me. Now you're free to have shit taste. That's okay. Now I gotta find the ass button. Hold on. Where is it? Oh. In that controller, everything is the ass button. Now, before we start a new shit, I must subject you guys to the shitting. Time, Snake. Also known as what are sound effects? Oh, you are behind this, Colonel. There are none. <laughs> Snake, straight to the point as always. What do you want from me? I just invited you here so we could have a talk. Invited? That's what you call sending armed soldiers after me? Sorry if they were a little rough with you, but we've got a serious situation here. Only you can get us out of it. I'm retired from the Foxhound. You're not my commander anymore, and I don't have to take orders from you or anyone else. You will take these orders. I know it. Excuse me. Who's this? Dr. Naomi Hunter, the unit's chief medic, an expert in gene therapy. Are you military? No, civilian. I've been sent here from ATGC. Pleasure to meet you, Snake. Don't worry. Uh, this injection won't hurt a bit. Pleasure to oh. meet you. This injection won't hurt a bit. What's the shot for? What's wrong? You don't like shots? What's wrong? Snake, listen up. About five hours ago, an island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago called Shadow Moses Island was occupied by special ops soldiers. What soldiers? Athlete Death, thank you for the resub and the five gift subs. Eddie Obscure, the 40A, zero, the 33. Sorry, I'm talking over this immensely well recorded and directed voice acting. You see, the island is the site of a secret nuclear weapons disposal. And all these immensely immersive sound effects. Now you understand how serious the situation ambient noises. Is. <laughs> First, infiltrate the nuclear weapons disposal facility and rescue the two hostages. The less you maneuver a remote control missile, the faster it will be. No. You are. Age the sounds. Of course. Heavy duty hostages. Secondly, uh, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to launch them into the music. strike. And stop them at oh the my god, we got all the Twin Snakes things oh, now. Any questions, Snake? Questions? I haven't even said whether I'd accept this mission. Snake, your grip has gotten stronger. Well, you can make up your mind after you hear more about... <laughs> I the didn't know what sounds Snake, there are now. Your grip has gotten stronger. Did you like it? Damn, it seems like viewers have been hard at work on the sound effects. Bingo! <laughs> Was the superior music and the superior non existing timeline since every tape starts over at music? Zero seconds. What happened to the music? The new timeline <laughs> in the briefing. Oh, hold on. Good. Let me go back to Twin Snakes. Colonel, I'm off duty now. Let me go back to Twin Lakes. Why, Snake? Is the less you maneuver Alaska a remote-controlled missile, great. the faster it will fly. There's a dog sled race this week. Next Saturday, I have to be in Anchorage. Oh, shit. Tasty. The longest sled race in the world. Nectarious are tasty. Fifty dollar readers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Man, Holy shit. Hold on. Got to take care of them. Yeah, you guys better kill Meryl. Don't worry about your dogs. What the less you, you maneuver a remote control <laughs> missile, the faster it will fly. This vessel is headed for the Nice. 
There's no room for debate. Yeah, let's let's get this straight. Gotta kill Nero. Bingo. I don't owe anything to this army or this country. You will. Others are just shove each other around. Why should I be stupid enough to do that? <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you up, Colonel. You're being indicted by the military. You committed a whole lot of crimes of treachery during your days as an agent. Oh, I see. Black Naomi, hold me. Hold me. I'm gonna fuck you up, Colonel. You're lucky Naomi holding me back. No, Snake. It's just a little scheme the brass thought up. But anyway, I know you. You'd take this assignment even without any threat. What's that supposed to mean? You are a natural-born soldier. You can't live a normal life in peace. Oh, my Cuervo. It's the same for all of us who've seen real action. The only place we can feel truly alive is on the battlefield. I'm a soldier, too. I know those feelings of powerlessness. Snake, your grip has gotten you stronger. Every day. You've tried to play the Boy Scout out there in Alaska. Gross. But you can't race dogs in the snow forever. Why don't you come back to us and be a soldier again? Outer uh... Bingo! You think my life is some kind of a joke? That's tasty! Snake, oh! I just want to give you back your purpose in life. Oh, what, a, what a shit show. Zellas, thank you for 75 months. Uh, and Gavin, the four months, thank you. Um, Alright, we gotta go Outer... back. Bingo. And then the music dies when you do this, which is a good thing, because all the music in this game should die. Interesting. Tell me about the nuclear weapon disposal facility. The disposal facility what happened to the includes music? a hardened underground base. Even with our most advanced intelligence gathering equipment, we can't tell what's happening inside. I right, see to the E of the 18 months. Thank you. So, someone needs to penetrate, gather intelligence, and report yeah, this back. This game will make you Sounds shit like yourself, me. so. Oh my god. You better watch in the toilet. The insertion method? Q8, are you serious? The insertion is impossible. You want to ruin it for everybody? 60 bucks to save Meryl? We'll Thank you. But well, what the fuck, man? By sub. Approach? Yes, within a few miles of it. The facility is equipped with sonar detection capabilities. <laughs> They'd be able to hear our engine or propeller noise. And then? Oh, that's nothing. It gets we'll better. A one -man SDV. Or worse, launch. I guess. Same as a torpedo. Only this has no propulsion device of its own. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. You want me to swim in sub-zero Alaskan water? Don't worry. That suit represents the latest advances in polythermal technology. The nuclear weapons disposal facility... I don't know about the suit. I think I'll recolor it. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As always... This is a one-man sneaking mission. Weapons and equipment OSP. Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Well, the video started zero time because they had no fucking idea of the details of this game that they were trying to remake. Yeah. Instead of having a timeline in the briefing, all the tapes start at zero. They, they had no fucking idea. This and a million other details, and them just one or not here. Fox sound cut. Thank you for the seventy-one months. What's the time limit? Twenty-four hours. They say they'll launch after twenty-four hours. Do they say what the target will be? So far, they haven't mentioned the target. When did the countdown start? Five hours ago.
Oh, here comes the bloody cigarette. Holy fuck, Nectarius. Colonel, nah, Meryl dies. It says 150 bucks. Holy fuck, man. These donations are crazy already. Thank so you so much. Supervisory control of this operation. The President of the United States. Pay close attention to that cigarette. Oh, there's a lot of crap hitting fans in the White House basement. Crap is hitting fans now. It's no. video conferencing with At it. At this point, they're still video conferencing with each other. Crap and fan Skype call. If that's a real nuclear warhead. Shouldn't they issue a COG? Not yet. The Secretary of Defense has operational control and is fully aware of the situation. After you infiltrate, if you determine they possess nuclear launch capabilities, a COG will be issued. Well, if they haven't relocated to the nuclear shelter under Mount Washington, I suppose there isn't that much reason to worry. Yet, is the National Security Agency in on this? Yes, and so is the DIA. The defense intelligence it is a 100% organic cigarette. I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. They'll be sending us some support. We don't need desk jockeys. We need a nuclear weapons specialist. Of course. Fuck no, I'm not playing against your control. It's already been assigned to us. It is the bloody organic cigarette. Oh my god. Murdered it. Cigarette full of blood. Maybe it's shit. Probably shit knowing this game. We need backup from a specialist. I'm just an amateur when it comes to nuclear weapons. I know. That's why I've requested the assistance of a military analyst named Nastasha Romanenko. She'll be providing you backup by codec. All the shit they're supposed to show the player. <laughs> show. You have to look at it. Who built up an impressive record as an advisor for the nuclear emergency search team. Contact her if you have any questions. She's also an expert on high tech weapons. Where's she working from? Her home in Los Angeles. California. California's a lot different than this place. The less you yes. maneuver a remote controlled <laughs> missile, the faster it will fly. Colonel, you're retired. Why are you involved in this? Because there aren't many people who know Foxhound as well as I do. Is that the only reason? I've been soldiering for a long time. I don't what know happened anything to the music? else. I guess even though I'm getting a little old, I still love to be in the field. This is where he checks his zipper. You're a lousy liar. Tell me the real reason. Okay, Snake. Snake! Sorry. Your grip has gotten stronger. I'll be frank. Oh, this might be is being the less you maneuver a remote controlled missile, the faster it will fly. <laughs> Meryl. There's it ain't gonna suck itself. I do thank you for the ninety months. What was your niece doing there? Several soldiers were reported missing the day of the revolt, and my niece was one of those called in as an emergency replacement. She looks like you. She's my little brother's girl. He died in the Gulf War, and since then I've been watching after her. A personal motive, Colonel. That's not very soldier. That's tasty. <laughs> I'm retired. Oh, there it is. You maneuver a remote control missile, now. the faster it will and fly. I'm your friend. Since when are we friends? Gross. I've thought of us as friends since the fall of Zanzibar land. Haven't you had enough of a moody bastard like me? 
No. Outer. That's the part Bingo. of you I trust. Please, Snake. Save my niece, Meryl. Right. Oh my God, Q8. But I have two conditions. What Lady the fuck, one, man? One. No more secrets between us. <laughs> Jesus. I want complete disclosure. Yeah, oh Jesus. And two. I'll only accept orders directly from you, Colonel. We got this Cut fight between okay. Nectarius and Q8 now. That's why I was called. But one thing. What? Huh. Help, That's Meryl. Tasty. I'm not a Colonel anymore. Uh, we also got the bits to kill Meryl. Ooh. Just a retired old woman. Thank you. $141 redos to ruin everybody's day and save Meryl. I uh -oh. God damn, QA, thank you. That's Nick C, tasty. thank you for 112 months. Sean814 with new sub, thank you. Welcome, Lord. Oh. It ain't gonna suck itself. There it is. What is Naomi doing there? Oh, just wait until you see the rest. <laughs> that doctor, is she part of this what operation music? Too? She was in charge of Foxhound's gene therapy. But then she, she fell asleep. Those men than the else. less you maneuver a oh remote-controlled <laughs> missile, the faster it will fly. So, she's used to seeing men naked. Make no mistake. I'm not a nurse. I'm a scientist. Make no mistake. I'm not a voice actress. I'm asleep. It's a combination of nanomachines and an anti-freezing <sighs> peptide so that your blood and other bodily fluids don't freeze. Even at suboctic temperatures. Even at suboctic. Not just one kind either. What happened to the there are music? different types which will replenish the supply of adrenaline, nutrition, and sugar in your bloodstream. Now I don't have to worry about food. <laughs> I also put some nootropics in there. Say what? Nootropics. A class of Snake, drugs which will help your grip has gotten stronger. Function. It'll make me smarter, huh? Anything else? Yes. You can call being asleep having an accident. Stimulant. It'll keep you alert. You need a stimulant. Twelve straight hours. That was quite a cocktail. Oh, this is that where Sneak and again. the Colonel check their baseline. Those nano machines will also keep your codex batteries charged up. Gross. I guess I can call you when I'm ready to go on a diet. You're welcome. Yes, I can call you when I'm ready to go to sleep. Fenty Grass, thank you for the 22. Oh shit, I didn't mean to quit. You can't quit the shitting. The chief of DARPA and the president of an arms manufacturing company. This is the one with Naomi's you know, like what shaving her legs or some shit. Nuclear weapons disposal facility. The truth is that secret exercises were being conducted at the time the terrorist group attacked. Must be extremely important exercises if those two were directly involved. Were they testing some kind of new advanced weapon? I'm not privy to that information. Do we know exactly where they're being held? The DARPA chief has also been injected with a mini transmitter. As you get closer, you should be able to pick up his location on your radar. Your radar. Yeah, she already murdered the bloody cigarette. to launch a nuclear missile. <laughs> they they what do. the fuck? They even gave us the serial number of the warhead they plan to use. Was the number confirmed? I'm afraid so. At the very least, they've got their hands on a real nuclear warhead. Isn't there some kind of safety device to prevent this type of terrorism? Yes. Every missile and warhead in our arsenal is equipped with a PAL, which uses a discrete detonation code. PAL? 
Permissive Action Link, the safety control system built into all nuclear weapon systems. But even so, we can't rest easy. Why not? Because the DARPA chief knows the detonation code. But even if they have a nuclear warhead, it must have been removed from its missile. All the missiles on these disposal sites are supposed to be dismantled. It's not that easy to get your hands on an ICBM. That used to be true. But since the end of the Cold War, you can get anything if you can pay the money. Yeah, it was actually cheaper to re-record the lines among other bad decisions. How well armed are these terrorists? I know there was an exercise going on at the time they revolted. They're heavily armed, I'm afraid. What nope, it was cheaper experience? to re-record the lines and reuse the original the audio. charge are plenty tough. Voice acting director talks about it in an interview. Oh my god. Hey, you're gonna make me blush. <laughs> the others are next uh, leg kick upwards. Forces. They're not your average grunts either. All right, Colonel, put so it in. What exactly are they demanding? Is it in yet? Remains. Remains? What's the insertion method? That's right. To be more accurate, cell specimens which contain the individual's genetic information. Snake, your grip has gotten stronger. Cell specimens? Why would they want that? The less you maneuver the a remote control missile, the faster it will fly. Your grip has gotten stronger. Forces have been strengthened through gene therapy. Genes strengthened. Is your like it? You've heard of the Human Genome Project. They've been mapping the Gross. human genome, and they're nearly finished. What Following happened to the up music? on this research, the military has been working towards identifying those genes which are responsible for making effective soldiers. There are genes that do that. Yes. And using gene therapy, the less you maneuver a remote controlled missile, the faster it will fly. Soldiers. Gene therapy. So there's one where Campbell checks his zipper in his pants. Outer. Bingo. With gene therapy, it becomes easy to remove <sighs> genes that cause sickness and disease. Or, alternatively, to about sleepy genes. In other words, we can overcome all sorts of genetic diseases and at the same time add genetic characteristics as desired. Okay, and so if you knew what genes were responsible for making the perfect soldier, you could implant them in the music. same way, right? Yes, we could. But it all depends on being able to isolate and identify those soldier genes. And in order to do that, it's helpful if you can study the genetic information of one of the greatest soldiers ever. What would be needed to have this remake be considered decent? Um, erase it from existence. Give it the Atari ET treatment, put it in the landfill, and forget about it. One of the greatest soldiers ever. The man they called the greatest warrior of the 20th century. You don't mean Big Boss. That's right. They've been working feverishly to identify the genes responsible for his incredible combat skill. So far, we've discovered about 60 of the so-called soldier genes. Yeah, maybe Big Boss had sore armpit syndrome. That's why a Snake stands like that. Yes. And his cells have remained frozen in a cryo chamber. His genetic information is a priceless treasure to mankind. Priceless to the Done. military, perhaps. His body was burned severely. But the it was less you maneuver a remote controlled profile, missile, the faster it will fly. Strand of his hair. Oh, heck, it's like some kind of dinosaur theme park. And you're going to put these genes into soldiers? Yes. 
You'll use a process that I discovered called gene targeting. Oh, uh, here he is. The strongest soldiers don't become what they are by acquiring their skills through training or experience. We now know that Maybe Campbell didn't know there's a camera far there. More crucial for creating superior soldiers. Gross. Snake, we can't hand over his body. It's more strategically important than any weapon of mass destruction. I hear the terrorists are calling themselves the sons of Big Boss. The sons of Big Boss. <laughs> the sons of Big Boss. Tell me about these next generation special forces. They started out as an anti-terrorist special ops unit made up of former members of biochem units, technical escort units, and the nuclear emergency search team. Their purpose was to respond to threats involving next generation weapons of mass destruction, including NBC weapons. Until they were added, that is. Who's they? These guys didn't start out as regular army. Looks like a pretty international group. Mercenaries? Yeah, and it gets worse. Most of them were from a Merc agency that I think you're oh! familiar with. They were part of Big Boss's private guard. And after Big Boss went down, the military just bought out all their contracts. Outer heaven. After that, they were merged with our own VR unit, Force 21, and retrained. If you ask me, these so-called next generation special forces should be called simulated soldiers. They have no real battle experience. Yeah, I could probably change things here too. Video game generation, huh? Don't forget, they've all been strengthened with gene therapy. They carry genes which make them You've been strengthened with sleep therapy, and Naomi. It's just because they don't have much experience. I thought international law banned the military use of genetic therapy. Nah, yes. fuck you, but those are just declarations, <laughs> not actual treaties. Uh. The interesting thing is that nearly every member of the unit conspired in this attack. The interesting thing is that nearly every voice actor conspired in the sleep attack. How can an entire voice acting unit be subverted to sleep? How can an entire unit be subverted to rebellion? They're calling it a revolution. Since they all went through the same gene therapy, they probably felt closer than brothers. They see the unit as their only family. The sons of Big Boss. But if they were regular army, they must have been interviewed periodically by army counselors. According to their files, they all got straight A's on their psychological tests. They all seemed like fine, upstanding, patriotic soldiers. But they all took part in the uprising? No. Several people didn't show up on the day of the exercise. That's why there was a resupply of troops. Was there any sign recently that something might be wrong? There was a report a month ago that they were acting strangely. Apparently, they consulted classified information about the soldier genes and performed their oh, here we go. therapy experiments. They can do that even without you? Well, our gene therapy process is almost completely automated. And besides that, they're all geniuses with IQs over 180. Even the existence of this genome army is a national secret of the highest order. We had been hoping to investigate this thing quietly and deal with it behind closed doors. High Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was the commander. This is where he forgets who the members are. Group combining firepower and expertise. Who does he forget about they Raven? I think. As good as when I was commander. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds 
So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terror. Uh, let me see if I can remember them Psycho all. Mantis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Uh, shit. Um, wait. Hold on. Oh. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sounds like a bunch of cartoon characters. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound Squad Leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? Yes. And you're the only person who can stand against him. Liquor Snake. The man with the same DUI as you. Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. The man who shares your code. Ah, oh, they changed the fucking Sorry. line. Fuck this off. The liquid. Tell me what you know. Both shits. He fought in the Gulf War as a teenager. The youngest person in the S. Rose. Normally I would ban that guy who posted a dick, but it's appropriate for this. Ah, uh, come on. Didn't you infiltrate Western Iraq with a platoon of Green Berets? I was just a kid myself back then. The details are classified, but it seems that originally he penetrated the Middle East as it's a spy. probably the kind of people that enjoy this game anyway. He was a spy for the British Secret Intelligence Service, but he never once showed his face in Century House. He was taken prisoner in Iraq, and after that there was no trace of him for several years. After you retired, he was rescued and became a member of Foxhound. I thought that by the time I left, they were no longer using code names. I don't know his real name. That information is so highly classified that even I can't look at it. Here's a photo of him. You've been equipped with a dick. The Mr. less you maneuver Be a careful. remote control <laughs> missile, the faster. Oh, they're overlapping. Pretty shocking, huh? You got the disc <laughs> change screen too me. for that. Nice. You two are exact duplicates. I have a twin. I don't know the details, but it seems so. That's why we really need you for this mission. You're the only one who can beat him. Now that I've met you, I know. You've got something that he doesn't. Why don't I find that thought more comforting? Hello, Cuervo. Ugh. Alright. <laughs> the music. I need to borrow your scissors. What are you going to do? Don't worry. Just gonna clean myself up a little. Huh? He's dying his hair, guys. I don't want to be mistaken for the leader of the terrorists. And how it was clearly blonde before this. I was known and feared as Chad. <laughs> All right, back from the shitting. Let's play the intro again, shall we? It's so good. And the music dies. When you go from the briefing to the main menu, the music dies. Now, if only it would do that for the entire game, we would be set. Twin Snakes with no music at all music? would be an improvement. What happened to the music? <laughs> we, I don't even know what gifts we have there now. It's all viewers' work. What happened to the music? This is ride and slipping and bird shit. <laughs> Outer. Uh... Bingo. That sounds like the original and just one line though. Couldn't you grab the twin snakes one? Uh is it gonna 
Okay. You know, I can hear it's from the original simply because it doesn't suck ass and because it has a reverb in the back. <laughs> because for Twin Snakes. But it's for Twin Snakes, so maybe you should have picked the, the real one. Yeah. Or the, the Twin Snakes one. Shitty music. The less you maneuver a remote control missile, <laughs> the faster it will fly. A hideous Kojima game. See, we should do a blind test like that with Chris Zimmerman. Ever listened to two lines, the same line, one from I'm just one of Rumpin Twin Snakes. Blind test, not tell her which one is which, and ask her which one's better. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on mm -hmm. Shadow Moses Island and Alaska. She didn't even tell him apart. Was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They are demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss. And they <sighs> say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Weapons. Objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the President of Armstead, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. <laughs> C-29. We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then... We'll launch a one-man SDV. You're funny. I'm pretty sure he's not serious. It's been around forever. Or, I mean, that's the point. You should be serious about stuff like that on April 1st. Dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. And once I to uh, do a playthrough, I just continuously praise the game. And one that I was the commander of. So they're still around. There are Pull up at the end, though. Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Manners with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Oh my god, that's, that's not. Ugh. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. You know what I also noticed? The Mark 23 is missing the green O ring in this. Of course it is. I was fucking around with it earlier. Round of ammo, slight lock back, no green O ring. Which is an MG too. Yet another fucking detail is missing. Thanks for rem reminding me. The MG too one has it, of course. But why the fuck didn't they just use the MG too model? Fuck knows. The <laughs> details are for nerds. Disposal facility covers the whole island. <laughs> he has the modern model with the black glory. Yeah, it blends in with the barrel. You can't see it. This is a one man. I was able to find those green rings from HK parts, so they didn't have them for a while, but now they do. If you want to be accurate, you can get them now. They're like five bucks each. <laughs> oh yeah, of course you already know about it. Hold on, I just can't find the ass button. Alright. Guess we already did the shitting, so it's time to load shit now. Nah, let's take a new shit. 
Shit level select. Shit ass, very shit, very ass, extreme shit. Um, I wanted to rename one of these difficulty levels to European shit, but it doesn't fit. <laughs> uh, European ass. Besides, this game doesn't really have it, so whatever. Uh, we'll go with very shit. Alright, now it's time to select the voice acting quality. Uh, let's see, good voice acting. Actors record a voice in someone's house in 1998 with traffic noise. Uh, I don't think that's suitable for this game. Uh, maybe bad voice acting? Actors paid minimum wage and abused slightly. Uh, I, I don't think slightly covers it for this game. I think we gotta go with shit voice acting. Actors paid in booze have violently woken up at 3 a.m. to phone it in. That sounds right. That sounds best, but right. There we go. Uh, do we want techno music? Yes. <laughs> the quack is so subtle. <laughs> I don't think that's the quack, though, is it? That's when he dies. It's not when you choke him. I mean, we can hear him. We can hear it later. Jennifer, hell. We've added some new memes for this. I reached a meme storage facility. I don't know what you're talking about, Z29. Stay alert. He'll be through here. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. I knew it, so Kiefer is an envious one, after all. We don't have enough buttons for the codec. What? This is extremely canon. This is Kojima's vision. Can't you see keepers here? You know, another detail that I noticed is missing. Uh, the dock area in MGS1 is supposed to be like the tutorial area where you're supposed to get used to the controls and learn to sneak around and learn the concept of the sneaking instead of fighting. So. It wasn't originally supposed to be there. They added it afterwards as kind of like an, an easier area to get accustomed to the control. So for that reason, enemies don't respawn in the dock. In the real MGS1. <laughs> in this shit, they even miss that, of course. So, you do have respawning enemies. And I guess a backup unit, maybe. At the very least, you have the respawning enemies. Yeah, so yeah, that's another thing that's missing, of course. And they respawn, since the area is not made for it, they respawn out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> the corners, the behind the crates and shit.
Yeah, see that guy just came out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> nice. This is the alert music too. Oh well. Let's get let's get the M9 because everybody knows there's an M9 and then just one. Maybe they thought it was an improvement. Maybe they thought, oh, they forgot to make enemies respawn. <laughs> Let's fix that. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, let me just grab the guy. I'll have a lock around him just too technology. I know, right? I'm just gonna leave this guy here for reasons. Oh, nice, got my ammo. Uh, I'll bet they, they probably thought they were fixing it. Not understanding it was done on purpose. What happened to the music? Anyway, that's the way to this fucking elevator. Yeah, that's one of the biggest problems with this game, and ironically, is that there's so many little changes that just scream, "Oh, we knew what we were doing. We we, we are. We thought we could improve it this way." You know, <laughs> clearly, it was a shortcoming in the original. We can do something about it. And they're so sure of it too. <laughs> For master no safety, of course. This guy notices the guard on the floor. Oh, okay. He, oh, I put him too far. Otherwise, he would have teleported him away from the elevator. Yeah, I overestimated his sight range, I guess. Oh, well. The Malak storage facility. Uh, Alright, time for the greatest music ever. Snake, your grip has gotten stronger. Hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. The freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. The less you maneuver a remote-controlled missile, the faster it will fly. A high D. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. Just wait until she starts talking about Fox Die. How sleepy she is in that one. Your 
best chance to slip in unnoticed. A whoop. Outer bingo. A whoop. A whoop. There are yeah, you don't need the PC version for the MP5. I think viewer got the wrong quack. Outer bingo. Gross. <laughs> oh god, I don't even want to change the voice back. It's so bad. Be careful, Snake. You might fall asleep. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the Darpa Chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitter and other machines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. That's the quack of when you, you snap his neck and he dies. The quack while you're choking him is different. More than quack. Or more of a quack. <laughs> but it's okay. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. What happened to the music? Can't say naked. Can't say you're naked. <laughs> Imagine yourself like in that position. Outer well, bingo. Well, get back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. Ooh, I'll do that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. We don't know. How did that come out? You never know. If you want to get in, there's Snake. the front door. Your grip has gotten stronger. the fastest way. But there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. Yeah, I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. What about the air duct near the door? Mm, one sentry on the left. Gross. On the right. They're armed with 556ers five, five, and pineapples. There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you oh, shit. The um. COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. I guess I should have known that they reuse that texture somewhere else. It's not just in the truck. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's completely invalidate the whole level design. A few features, shall we? Um. Save this guy for later. For some reason, he already has a bruise on his head. Even though I never punched him or anything. But okay. And then, who cares about the level design? Just invalidate everything from here. Lights? Fuck that. And even distract that guy so he can shoot him. <laughs> cameras? Eh, we don't need cameras where we're going. Meh. There you go. Who cares about anything? Oh my god, there's a lot of keefers in there. A surveillance camera. Yeah, surveillance keefer. Snake, your grip has gotten stronger. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, that's where they put the sun grenades. Alright. This guy has some work to do, though. That's why we left him alive.
safety on the FAMAS, of course. <laughs> Wake up. So the end, just do stuff. Radio, leg, and right arm. Who is that? Nice alert music. Where are we going? Oh, this is MG2 AI. So naturally, he's going to the Lois's door, to the next area. Right? Because this environment totally has doors that the enemies can go through. I have a better idea. Why don't we dance to the music instead? So since they have M just 2 AI and M just 1 environment, this shit happens. Of course. Because the game was totally designed carefully <laughs> with all the new features in mind. So he's trying to get away from me somewhere where he can hide so he can... Well, when they do this in MG2 is they go through the nearest door and they call for backup there that you, you're not supposed to see. You can't see through the door, right? And just one, there are no doors that these guys can go through. So, yeah. Great game design. So he's trying to go somewhere behind a corner or something around the corner so he can hide and cheat from there. <laughs> but the the funny thing is that even when you do let them do what they're supposed to do, which is go hide behind the corner, call for backup, magically being healed out of nowhere, um, it looks like this. Even when you let them do it. Do you think that maybe they pick those locations carefully? Where they do that from? Or... Nope, magic. Okay. The definitive experience, I think. I <laughs> think keeper here. Sometimes you change these textures, or you don't know where they were used, so they end up. In strange places. <laughs> nice. Uh, what should we do? Go. There seems to be a warning here, but it's too late now. Ah, truly the best way to experience him just one. Wait, that probably means there's a keeper in here, too. Yeah. <laughs> the whole fucking shaft there. Anyway. Let's go to the next area. I wonder. Maybe it's just the heliport that they didn't count the, for the level design, yeah. I'm sure the, the tank hangar will be better. The less you maneuver a remote controlled missile, Wait, the faster it will fly. Long time. Nonsense. What are you doing there? I quit being a boot camp instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I know it's hard, just like you. Once in a while, I still have friends that ask for scouts. Pass them on the skills to a new generation, huh? Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be able to use. Please, no one had a hand in thoughts all over you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out there. My frequency is 141.80. It says it's not liquid there, so I think we can bust him. It could put keefers all over the vents. 
<laughs> oh, God. the vent covers they're about to start spraying for rats first floor basement ventilation shaft shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying also keep your eye on that woman in the cell don't get careless now yeah, these yeah, guys don't know how to fox sound love on their uniform something happen there's an intruder <coughs> oh, gross. Really? he's already done three people he's killed three people Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. <laughs> Got the wrong pack. Damn, 5,000 points for that quack is a lot. That's okay. Nanomachine, sun, inflation. I think we should have, to make it fair, the correct quack, and we should have more than one. Like, we should have a bunch, like, I don't know, make it four or five quacks. Yeah. <laughs> Press the action button to drop down. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, let me get the thermal goggles first. And then we'll take a look at the amazing level design here. Did you like it? Use them just to shit. <laughs> of all the things that it could have reused. They didn't reuse the good ones. Okay, so... I sure hope we don't have to, um go through this entire catwalk to reach the end and finally lose the elevator, right? I sure hope the hanging mode doesn't invalidate all that while at the same time making noise and luring the guy away. Completely skipping the whole fucking area. Okay. The original Twin Snakes? Oh, Jesus. Much pain and suffering do you want? <laughs> hmm. Probably change this to something. They even cut down on the, the bat cracking for the Merrill Easter egg. So, we get to see it all here. Take a look at Johnny here. He's taking a piss instead. But you know it's not canon. Back quack. <laughs> Damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy. That, oh, yeah, that toilet like. looks familiar. What did he just pee on? Huh. That it's an interesting toilet seat cover they have. Also, Meryl does some weird shit here for her workout. I 
I should probably put on the toilet paper too, yeah. <laughs> very painful shits. This game is a very painful shit. Gross. A woman. It's gross. A woman. <laughs> Okay, so instead of having to go all the way back out the vent and back in for her to do something different, I think you just have to look and then look away. And then now she's already doing something. How does it work? Shit, I forget. Maybe we need to go back a little bit. Wait, how does it work? Oh, there you go. You have to stay in first person. Maybe not. Has gotten stronger. Maybe after the changes the first time, you gotta redo it. I don't understand how it works. But, okay. Somehow, it's working. What the fuck is she doing? It's a phantom toilet, too. The toilet pain. Well, are you gonna take your pants off, or what? Kind, thank you for the 76 months. I missed a couple of resubs from R Walters for the 11 months and Earned Rev with 107. Thank you, Pentagrass with 22. Also, thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe we do need to get out for her to take off her pants. Oh, so. it's just doing whatever stretches. Yeah, yeah, okay, so that's how it works. All right, fuck it. For science. Whoop. Oh, not all the way. Just a few feet. Of course you would know that. Did you say feet? Ah, oh, fuck it. She seemed, he seemed to go through her exercises there somewhat, staying in first person, but... Okay, let's see. <laughs> uh, there we go. Did that do it? I understand. There is no consistency to it. You stay in first person, you look away, and you look again, and sometimes it works. Gross. Okay, maybe you have to look all the way up. This is what you meant by a few feet, right? <laughs> Did you like it? I don't understand. There's no consistency to it. I look away and it works. I look away and it doesn't work. Outer bingo. Eh. Okay. Music box. What would you know about women's legs? <laughs> uh, it's the entire fucking character model. It looks weird. Her face looks like a plastic mask. Oh, uh, here we go. Her, her ass is literally inferior to even the PS1 polygon ass. Not nearly as much detail on it. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's teleporting around on the radar. Nice. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I was just wondering what it looks like in there when you're not looking. You can kind of see on the radar. She teleports around. She goes from the floor to the bed. Nice. 
Because she probably just snaps in place there if we could see. Let's see. Damn, they didn't even give her like an animation to get on the bed and off the bed. Just teleport. Yep, she teleported again. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's move on to more important things. Which is Spider Snake. No, of course not. In the original, you had to go all the way back out for her to change exercises and take her pants off. I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent in here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You mean this guy sounds like he's going to C4 himself, right? I will see for myself. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Is it possible? Hey, I didn't see the chat who played that. It's Viewer, did you play that manually from the website? Could launch a nuke. Swish, 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 swish. Oh, I didn't show up in the chat. <laughs> Thanks, Ethereum. Like this, 178 months. Thank you. To a missile. That's the official story. Got it. Good. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A true. I definitely need to put something on the toilet paper. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the earth. A nuclear equipped walking battle tank. Here. It can't be. Notice how the camera started from the, I guess, top left from relative to Rex. We've had a couple of run That'll come back later. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site. Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard that the Metal Gear project was scrapped. You're facing Rex. That camera angle started at the top left. Mm. Remember that. We were going to use this exercise as raw data, and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution. Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They've probably already finished arming the war. Are you guys ready for the weakest fucking delivery of shut up in there, will ya? They're all experienced it's in just sad. Equipping nuclear weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? Hey, shut up in there, will ya? There it is. <laughs> no, wait, no, that's not it. That's still not it. Beware, that's a different voice set. Because the choke doesn't sound... Oh, fucking missed rules of nature. <laughs> but Perfectly normal. Nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. 
some kind of detonation. That's not it. Input. That's not it. There's a different voice set where this it sounds like a like a quack. It's set up so that you need to the whole time that you're choking them. There are two passwords. Yes. Baker knows one. <laughs> the president of Arms Tech. That's right. It's Each too fucking loud. Password. I can't even hear my own thoughts over it. Out. But yeah, we we missed the rules of nature. <laughs> Unplayable. They found out my password. You talked. <laughs> Psycho mantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Please lower the volume on that a little bit. One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's tooth. If they find out Baker's password. Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. Yeah, Brazil, thank you for 36 months. Both is the answer. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Arms Tech, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key. So where are the card keys? Okay, we should change Mel's tattoo too. Listen, to probably Kiefer tattoo or something. Card keys. There are three different slots. Kiefer, Kiefer or Malak? I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe both. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement. I heard the guards say they moved them into an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? What are you gonna do with two Big Macs and small fries? It's not enough fries for the Big Macs. But didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Me again? What? Box is being on command now? Take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. This is actually my 10th anniversary of it works together with your body's own electrical field. Wind snakes on April 1st. Area network, huh? <laughs> it started in 2014. In your body as a transmission medium. As you God damn. Door security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay. I'm gonna get Did I make this game? No. As they haven't arrested me yet. You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? Unlike the developers for this game, I got arrested. No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just you see, no. That's how you know it's a good game. Does the white it's House made by criminals. <laughs> <laughs> That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon. <laughs> Yeah, one of the Silicon Knights Gross. producers or whatever got arrested for cheese pizza. And recently, one of the translators for Rising as well. That's how you know that Rising and Twin Snakes are great games. <laughs> Thank you for the 37. Uh, better than any theme in MGS1. May 
Naomi, the chief. What happened? I don't know. I was I, asleep. I, I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel. Are you kidding me? Absolutely not, Snake. You've got to understand. This counter-terrorist op is security level red. You'll need the highest security clearance to learn the real story. Music. You have to be believed. You're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file. I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. It's okay. Today, we welcome everybody with a shit opinion. <laughs> Now yeah, we can totally put something in that toilet paper. Hmm. We already got this. Snake, your grip has gotten stronger. Toilet seat cover. So maybe what could go with it? <laughs> you can grab bodies, but not not the Darpa cheese body because. He's unique, I guess. <laughs> As file on the toilet paper. Man, I can probably make that higher rest too. Nah, fuck it. Sure hope no stupid shit happens, like Snake somehow getting disarmed by Mero, right? Chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. What happened to the music? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. Your eyes wander. There's no confidence in them. That the stupid ass rookie. third laser on them. <laughs> <laughs> you they had too no much. fucking idea what they were modeling, dude. I told you I'm no rookie. A remote control missile, the faster it will <laughs> Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out Looks of here. Like be a little delayed. Oh my god, this scene, so much tension. And this is the alert music. Hmm. What happened to the music? Yeah. What happened to the music? Okay. <laughs> this really works with the scene. Fucking what happened to the music? What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't oh, he walks like back there. Rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! Ah! Alright, you deal with it. Bye. Need to take a phantom pain. You stuff his head down the phantom pain toilet. Oh, see, there it is the plant. See, they sound like that the whole time. No, see, that's not it. <laughs> Let's see if this guy has it too. No, this is actually the same one as the sound effect. I 
want to see if they have it. No, don't kill him. How is she not going down? God damn it. Eh, last chance. What? She doesn't go to sleep with the even with the tranquilizer in her body if you flip her. I guess she doesn't work like the regular enemies then. Ah oh, fuck, he got stunned. <laughs> We're gonna give it a four help. bucks. Wait. Did you want to put that towards saving barrel? Maybe because that's the difference. Let me know in the chat because you didn't put a no donation message. Uh oh. What could go wrong here? That's a good idea. Clearly, this is an improvement. Unless you maneuver a remote control <laughs> missile, the faster it will fly. Snake, your grip has gotten stronger. I missed the gift. Right? Is that fucking great fox getting? Getting squashed for that music. Uh, viewer really put in some work. Too bad we're gonna have to do it all over again. Um, for the Twitch alerts, so we can have more sounds. No snake. The nano machines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must. Have I don't know. I was asleep. Interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So, that was yeah, usually the guy we use for the quack is the, the guy in front of the elevator in the nuclear storage building. That guy is 100% the correct quack. Um, that is so sad. That wasn't 50%, that was 100%. That's that's what Naomi sounds like in this game. <laughs> you thought I was 50%? Yeah. That tells you everything then. My luck. Let's see floor. So we'll see how epic Ocelot boss fight is. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 
that's a really rude book. I should I should definitely put something else on these. Put Kojima at the beach or something. AG Mantis with the 70 months, thank you. And my locker. <laughs> my lack of music. My lack of everything. Alright. Damn, is there no rations around here? Oh, there should be one here, unless this superior version removed it. Should be a ration in here, yep. Well, you can see him from there, nice. See, that's... Clearly, that's an improvement. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Baker dies with a hit. He'll lag. Instead of, you idiot, he says, you stupid fool. Damn, so you don't even get to hear what are you aiming at. Because he just dies right away. Hmm. Six years now, it's been longer than that. I think the the first one was in 2016. I started doing Twin Snakes on April 1st in 2014, and then in 2016 we had the first Superior Edition. Fuck, I didn't pick up that, that ration. Oh well. <laughs> it's been more than nine years. If, if you count the regular runs for two years, it's been ten years, yeah. C4 shows some text from them just you. <laughs> Even though they have the C4 charges there, for some reason they thought they needed to add the same text as well. I don't know. C4 same text. I'm here to save you. No! Don't, don't, don't touch it! Snake, your grip has gotten stronger. C4. C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. No cult logo in the single action army. No bluing. Special he forgets his own name. <laughs> Revolver. Uh, something or other. Shala Fat. Uh, no, wait. What was my name again? Uh, hold on. Um. Oh, that's right. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. Is it? I don't know. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Show you why they call me Revolver. Oh, oh, oh. 
Mm. Wow, that's certainly very epic built up the tension and this is the music for it this is the boss music for ocelot if you can call it that <laughs> i mean I, guess, I suppose there's some noise in the background you could call that and then the fight itself is very epic as you can see it was totally made to be like this. Yep. Dong, dong, dong. Hmm. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. I forgot to bleed for a second there. What? Snake. Stronger. Stealth camouflage. But don't worry, the ninja's cool because the ninja's supposed to be crazy, right? <laughs> Never mind the sound effects. You even die, yeah, right? we're the boss fight for it. Fox yourself for six, nine months before going into Wolves of Nature mode. That, that exo skeleton. What happened to the music? At least it's not null. I guess I don't usually slow this down by 50%. I need to take most again. <laughs> Some sloppy rules of nature today. What happened to the music? What happened to the whole fucking game, dude?
when you talk. Who Snake, are you? your grip has gotten I'm stronger. Not them. Uh, a dud. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What happened to the what music? Yours? Oh, I get it. I sure hope he doesn't forget the frequency or anything. The Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... I talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. The less you maneuver a remote-controlled like missile, the fight. faster it will fly. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind <laughs> How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Uh, kinda like psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah. Anyway, how did they get your code? I... I never had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> Uh, it looks like you had some fun with you, all right. He's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Mm, looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Uh, you're a funny guy. So, the... the DARPA chief? Is he okay? dead what? It, it can't be What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Oh, those <laughs> boys are clown crawler. Nice. Hesitate to launch. Who came up with that viewer? That's genius. What do they really want? Clown crawler for this game. Who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. Do you still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No. Oh, it's kind of obscure. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists. Uh, no, Bit clever. That, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. Prison? That female soldier. She said that she had just joined up as a new recruit. They, they threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. New recruit. Could that be the colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Oh, looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. L let me tell you, it's... it's... The less you maneuver a remote-controlled missile, the faster it will fly. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry. Mm. I forgot. That's 
right. It should be on the back oh, of the package. Try to contact The package. Him. My package. I'll the back of my right package. Away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Mm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Because the good Who's people that? who made this knew how to improve the of the Metal Gear Rex on the directing. Uh, a genius at engineering, <laughs> a little bit of an oddball. That's why he does anyone that. Anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? Well, you'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's, it's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The nuclear threat hasn't disappeared. The threat is more real than ever before. The amount of spent nuclear fuel in plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? What happened no. to the music? Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to use it or dispose of it. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that Gross. there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with nowhere to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age where any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? The Russians and Chinese still pursue a policy of deterrence. Do you see? Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear? Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the U.S. Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Uh, secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even that bunch on the military oversight committee can't Rise. say bleeding heart liberals it's just, just the bunch the now industrial complex anyway metal gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed i don't give a crap about you or your company yes that's about what i'd expect from a grunt like you here. This is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this dis exists. Make sure that you report this to Jim, to your boss. I'll give you my card, too. It'll open up all security level two doors.
Can you walk? No. You go on without me. Oh. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. Uh, that ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <laughs> you know him? <laughs> you should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my, my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What did you do to me? No. The way he says it. There's ambiguous bastards. Bastards. So they, they, they actually went and did it. Oh. 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 What are you talking about? They, 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 they're just using you for, for the rest of the new Oh shit. Hobo, thank you for the five. There's Pentagon bastards. Well, was a good man. <laughs> What a shame. It was a good game. What a rotten remake to have. Some of the delivery in this game. Six with three. It's like another heart attack, but a heart attack in large doses. For example, but I am asleep and I don't know what happened. Or dioxin. But we won't be able to tell without doing Your grip has gotten stronger. I want you and Mero to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Skate says a rival wants to put Ethan's coming from there. It should be okay if they do voice transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try and get him away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell is that ninja thing? Don't sleep. A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes. We have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. <laughs> the blue. Thank you for the eight my months. Some reason they decided to move Baker to this side, but okay, they they know better. This game is just constantly trying to tell you that they know better. They know how to make this game better. Uh, okay, we got the disc with chapter three. I sure hope nothing happens to it. We can bring it back safely. Um, oh shit, those leaves are a little closer here. I got the box here too. And the fam ass, which again, for the controller that doesn't have enough buttons, has. I used to talk a lot of shit about this solution, actually, because you need to press three base buttons to do anything if you want to walk around with this gun and aim it. You gotta press squared fire and then triangle two, not fire, so that's two, and then what could I go with it? And then if you want to walk with it, that's circle, that's three. <laughs> to do something as simple as this, which you can do with one button, I mean, I'm just two. You gotta hold down three face buttons, square, circle, and triangle, or whatever the fucking GameCube equivalent is, I don't even know. And, because not only the GameCube doesn't have pressure sensitivity, and it also doesn't have L1. Leave it to Nintendo to have three shoulder buttons. Not two, not four, three. An even number. <laughs> okay. So there's no L1. 
so you gotta press circle. There's no pressure sensitivity, so you gotta press triangle, and you gotta aim with square. So, <laughs> but you know what? If you actually do have L1, in this case, I mapped L1 to to a circle because I'm usually I'm, I'm usually I'm using an actual controller that was designed for this control scheme, but um, it's actually better than what the Master Collection did for pressure sensitivity. Assuming you have L1, which hopefully, luckily we do on PS4 or PS5, um, then you would have uh, just square and triangle to deal with. And honestly, pressing triangle for pressure sensitivity or equivalent to put down the gun is better than pressing the fucking left stick. So Tomb Snakes sorta of got it right. <laughs> It's a lot better than pressing the left stick. At least you can walk around with it. So, I don't know. Apart from the fact that it's missing L1, which is kind of ridiculous. But they kind of did better than the Master Collection. I'd rather take Triangle or L3. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we gotta call Meryl, that's right. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. You can you can also call Meryl in the, the the area where it specifically tells you where you that you can call her from there. You can still call her in Twin Snakes. Yeah. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece, Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? Hmm. I'm the fool that your uncle sent to this hellhole. You came alone? Trying to be some kind of hero? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? Oh, That's what some people called me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Uh, sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. They're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You're trying to sweep me off my feet? Hey, don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. Terrorist. Leader. Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? Gross. You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him personally. But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I had just joined the training that same day. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapon disposal facility. Boy, oh boy. It's just like them. Nobody's told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But they must have been test firing dummy warheads for a while. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. That's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep them hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack What happened too? to the music? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No. Not that I heard of. I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Well, sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So, they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something The less you he maneuver a remote-controlled right. missile, the faster it will fly. Time. I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. How do we get to the nuclear warhead storage where the doctor's being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's a... <coughs> <coughs> well, I've got a 
go save the doctor. You should go to the... I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy, and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. It was frightening to think that with a pull of the trigger, I could take someone's life. It's not like shooting targets in training. I always dreamed of being a soldier. Every day of my life, I trained my mind and body for the one day the when I could finally see some real action, and now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, you're not normal if you don't feel something the first time you kill. Killing without guilt produces more carnage. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits emerge. It's easy to forget what a sin Boy, I'm glad they swapped out as best as you have to come for this generic, sad music in the background. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to fail. Clearly improved. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. What happened to the Let music? Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. <laughs> I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> okay, good. Snake, I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Hang on to the key until then. Got ya. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Snake. I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that Gross. mean? Uh, it means nothing. Listen, Snake. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with... Keep the mask on, please. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. <laughs> There's a warning on that door. Okay, well. What? You mean to say that I gotta go through these lasers now? Like, carefully watching where they're moving and shit? Nah, we am just do now. Fuck it. Control units. Bye. Let's just invalidate the level design some more. We still have the checkerboard snow. Yeah. <laughs> That's an emulator thing. I gotta. There's probably an option to fix it, but honestly, who gives a shit? It's Twin Snakes. Arshan, thank you for giving me a sub, dude, does it? mind detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant it's probably pretty simple to the fix. I'm the idiot, though. <laughs> Martian again yeah, with the sub to X2404. Thank you, man. in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you, anyway? What are those? Fans. One of your only fans, Deep Throat. X videos. Wait, what? Oh boy, can't wait for the the boss music. This one's so good they reuse it in Phantom Pain. Uh, this is pure Kojima vision. What I'm just one is supposed to be. 
so I hear. Tank with a rifle barrel, okay. Every voice always bothered me in this game. <laughs> uh, did Rogan say his donation was to save Meryl? Because I didn't see it in the chat. If that was the case. Okay, sure. I'll add it. Thank you. Damn. That's right. You belong on the ground. Uh, okay, okay. No problem. Cool. The snake you are. Yeah, it's actually tight now, but I guess save is winning, which is a problem. We gotta kill Nero for this. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you guys ready for the music? Oh shit, rations frozen. Like theories of the 500 bits to kill. Nice, thank you. Ah, that's better. That's how it should be. I'm gonna be slightly sad if Mural survives this. Yeah, so good that they reuse it in Phantom Pain. Do -do -do. Ah, do -do -do. Three second loop. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Do, do the thing and get hit by the seven thing. Ah, fuck it. Get the claim we're here. Hey. And then we have the amazing sound design of Tesla Tank that slides around completely quietly. <laughs> Meryl, right? Yeah. Fucking I'll hell, this her. game, dude. It's it's a hybrid tank. It turns on the engine every once in a while, but mostly it's just electric. <laughs> just sliding around with no sound. Whatsoever. What is sound design? We don't know, just like Phantom Pain. Maybe this music is something common with it. <laughs> oh, did we get another 500 bits to save Meryl? Thank you. But what the fuck, man? Uh, Martian with a gift of sub to Lonely Geekus. Thanks again. Grenades? Where we're going, we don't need grenades. Snake defeated a tank with a handgun. Martian, how many times are you planning to do this? Gifting subs to all the, the old school regulars. Nice. <laughs> what happened to the music? What happened to the sound effects? No. Oh yeah, and of course you can also just fucking clip into it if it moves. Ah, I went the other way though. Right. What? Eh? But... <laughs> Shit, maybe that wasn't worth the demonstration. Okay. I'm just sit here and regenerate. Amazing boss fight and music, tension, sound design. How was that not a headshot? 
Damn, they take like shit damage if we don't get a headshot though. You can really feel the tension in this fight. What happened to the music? For a second. Not a peep, not a single sound was made that day. <laughs> that tank, this is stealth tank sneak up on enemies. See, there's another thing with Phantom Pain. The stealth tank. Ah oh, fuck. I guess we'll just wait. What happened? We got a twenty dollar donation. It says I'm going chaotic and putting ten on eat, kill, and save. Yeah, that really fucks with things, dude. I mean, thank you, but now it's tied again. But usually when it's tied, we do whatever the last donation was for. But your donation's for both, so... We have to go by the previous, previous donation, which was... I think it was bits to save. Somebody used 500 bits to save, so... Save is still winning. God, that confused me. Good job. <laughs> uh, Hell with me. Look at it. It doesn't make a sound. It's insane. Oh, fuck. Like, there is with another fun. It's to kill. Okay, cool. Let me add that. Next. Didn't even need it. Hold on. Might as well add huh. now. Hell with Meryl. Oh, we got another 500 bits to kill. Thank you. Yeah, there's, there's something to those stealth tanks after all. Oh, come on. There you go. If it wasn't for the cutscene, it wouldn't make any sense that Snake defeated the tank with grenades. Luckily, he does some super cool shit in the cutscene with the grenade. What will we do without these super cool cutscenes? about to find the guy with the correct pack soon maybe we can we can choke him around a little bit right. Just for viewer like viewers that. reference <laughs> outer bingo. that's the outer bingo. give okay <laughs> 
Yeah, you could steal it from the screen if there's. I, I'm. That might be a little bit of music in the background. Who cares? It's Twin Snakes music. He lives and breathes combat just like you. I would expect no less from your. You see, I told you so, but I will kill him. General Ivan, I hear that. I think we're all caught up with the uh, donations. So you guys were going crazy with the bits there and the guy with the chaotic donation there. The Thank you. Of the Sioux people. Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, Snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always. Yes. The, the less you maneuver a remote control <laughs> missile, the faster <laughs> it will fly. His blood. I hope these sounds will go away after this. It's gonna be some time before we get to that part of that, that specific meme. It's during the second phase of the Rex fight, mostly. That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah. There's lots of boxes piled up in here. But How do you know? You were asleep. Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's because the Baker said. Totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. The Fossil knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. All of the warheads in those boxes have a detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. <laughs> But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that. I might board. even have to wake up if that happens. So they tell you to call Nastasha here, which right, hold on a second. Let me get to the quack guy first. There he is. Listen carefully. an actual duck under that mask that's why he wears a mask <laughs> see the, the sound effect is at the end of the other it's it's weird way it works i guess let's wake him up killer shadows as high neck theories let's save metals together for five dollar tip thank you uh i think neck theories wants to save Meryl exactly They, they hired an actual duck to voice this guy. But yeah, uh, one thing I wanted to point out is that this is where they tell you to, to call Nastasha if you haven't called her already because of all the calls related to the, the nukes here, the, what the plutonium does, all that shit, right? And okay, so I haven't done Nastasha's codec portrait, so she's still a regular one, but Apart from, okay, her accent is fucked. One thing I wanted to point out that we found out during in-depth run. Uh, none of the skulls are actually here. When you call Nastasha about the nuclear storage building, instead, she will have her background call. Snake. Naturally, nuclear Wait a second, what? Now it works? Wait a second. What happened last time then? Wait, what the fuck the hap What the fuck did we do during the in-depth run in September then? What? Hold on. She does have the calls. Last time she didn't have them. That's really weird. What the fuck? Was it because I was playing on extreme? Why would that matter? That's weird. That's so fucking weird. So when I did this on um, during the subathon in September, she only had her background call on repeat here, which is weird because that background call is not supposed to unlock until after the hind. That's weird. Whoa, Nectarius, what the fuck, man? I <sighs> 
He really wants to fucking kill Nero. Uh, it's been like... How many fucking crazy donations now, Nectarius? Like... Damn, dude. Uh, you are at... 400 Doloritos. Another 200 to kill Mero. Yeah, I noticed. I was more distracted by the fact that Mustache's calls are suddenly working again for some reason. Well, they didn't work. Does it really depend on the difficulty level? Because that was the only thing that was different. Now we gotta come back here and extreme and see. Damn, Nectarius saves the day by probably securing the correct ending and then goes to sleep with a Giga Chad. Everybody say thanks to Nectarius, because I don't know. I don't fuck to thank him anymore. Thank you. Um the signing of Star Okay. Why why would the difficulty level do it? That's the only thing that's different. Or maybe another thing that's different is that on that in that run, I called her before this area. And in this run I only started calling her in this area. So maybe that's another thing that's different. Okay, well that's something to investigate a little further that we discovered. The mysteries of Twin Snakes calls. Weird. Uh, okay. Never mind then. So fucking weird. Night, thank you for the raid. Welcome in everybody. We are only playing the greatest remake of all time. Here he just completely fucking changed the cubicles and removed it. Add lockers instead. Cause why not? Dalton Galloway with a seven months, thank you, welcome back. Damn, I really wanted to point that out. It's just it's it's not just weird, it's double weird. That it broke and then it fixed itself. <laughs> Can't really see it yet, but the word hamster comes to mind when you look at Otacon's face in this game. That's all I can say. Bathroom calls. Oh, it does say 444 in there. <laughs> we were looking at it in the real M just one the other day. Proportions in this area are all over the place. The hallway is way wider and uh, I don't know, maybe to make it easier to maneuver. The less you maneuver. Change the sound effect for Nikita to what? Why? The less you maneuver a remote control missile, the faster. <laughs> oh shit! It's actually pretty challenging because the O2 goes down a lot faster. The Nikita is a little slower. The cameras are faster too. I don't know. It just feels a lot different than the real thing. Ah! Yeah. You barely have enough fuel too. Damn. Oh! <laughs> the hard door slam. <laughs> Damn. 
Damn, it almost makes you want to pick up the gas mask. For real. Oh shit. Come on. Another detail that's missing when you're in first person with the gas mask. In the real M just one, you hear a snake's uh, breath sound effects. He's breathing into the mask. And here, absolutely fucking nothing. Another detail that's gone. Also, they made it easier to see through the mask, even where it's supposed to be blocked out. <laughs> but yeah, it's just more sound design that's missing, of course. A lack of sound. And of course, another detail that's missing. Oh, I have no ammo. Damn. I have no ammo for anything. Is that even gonna reach it? Ooh. Another thing that's completely missing is the writing on Otacon's lab door. I mean, it still gives you a fair warning, but it's missing. Al's Labo, keep out. <laughs> and yeah, he's chanting the, the train stations and train stops. Oh, and of course, the whole thing with. Snake is not supposed to see this happen, but we see it because it's cool. And then he still asks Meryl if she did it. Uh, whatever. And then we see in there. Oh yeah, that looked like Meryl. That looks like Meryl was doing this. But it's cool, there's a guy who gets cut in half, and then immediately the first thing you do is go look for him in gameplay, and he's not there. Unfortunately. <laughs> see, you're not supposed to see the ninja until you're around that corner in the original. But now here, of course, since it's cool, it's crazy. They have to show you the whole thing. Snake clearly sees the ninja do all this and walk in there. And yet, you still have this call. Meryl, this pile of corpses... <laughs> Clearly. Hmm. So. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Pony Firing Squad went to 52 mods. Thank you. Days with the raid. Welcome on in. You were playing the inferior version, weren't you? And of course, better graphics equals less detail. 
<laughs> Big dent in this wall is missing. Light is not gone out on the ceiling and there is no blot on the ceiling like the original. I guess you can see the panel is destroyed though as well. Uh, there's nothing going on here at all. Yeah, of all the, um, the three versions of this hallway, and then and just one and Twin Snakes and then MGS4. MGS1 is still the one that has the most detail, it's kind of crazy. And there isn't a single FAMAS around, you can even look at it and how it doesn't have the safety in this one. Yeah, they don't have the, the guy that's still alive. They don't have any guards with... Oh, nice! I see, you did it. Good job. They don't have any guards that give off heat. Or, yeah. The guy that gets cut in half in the cutscene is nowhere to be seen, but whatever. And just overall, the, the proportions, the sound effects, the, the music, the lighting, it's just all... Everything is fucking off in this game. The most impressive thing in this game is that somehow they managed to... Uh, in the next scene have a hollow point bullet flying with actual rifling marks on it there might be some out there but I can't think of any other piece of media that shows you a flying bullet that actually has the rifling marks on it like there's a famous scene in the Matrix, you know, where Neo stops all the bullets and you see them flying through the air and not a single one of them has rifling marks on them. And this one does. It's kind of impressive, actually. Oh man, I watched Lord of War ages ago. I don't know, they probably... I mean, I, I can't think of any, but it's not like I have, you know, a vast and ancient knowledge of all the, the movies and games that do that. But I just couldn't think of any others. Up three things. You can turn the game off, you can make fun of it, and the bullet has rifling marks. Stealth camouflage? <laughs> Those are the three best things. <laughs> the greatest feature of this game is you can turn it off. Gross. Where is my friend? And I guess we'll wait for this. Somebody was about? asking something. Look at that. Damn. How oh, about this? Great. Eh, I guess, yeah. That would kind of work. It's close enough. Oh, what next? Snake. Hey, you're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese enemies. Enemies. What is it? Revenge. Gross. It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill Gross. you. Hamster face. Uh, all right then. Watch from your box seat. I need that man. <laughs> Japanese enemies. <laughs> now make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. But somebody was asking, did Kojima make all these changes, or did somebody else direct this? And the answer is both, because Kojima got, what's his, what's his fucking name, Kitamura? Awesome Brown, help me tell the story. So, he got this guy with the crazy signature Matrix backflips style of directing to do this game. And originally the guy wanted to do it more faithfully to the original. 
he wanted to have proper like cutscenes of recreation of of MG's one cutscenes. But Kojima was like, no, no, no. You have your your crazy style. Please do it in your crazy style. <laughs> yep. So it's both someone else that directed it who had good intentions, and Kojima specifically going out of his way to fucking make it ruin it. <laughs> the poor guy wanted to do it properly, and Kojima was like, "No, do it your way." <laughs> So that's that's the funny story. People who think that Kojima has no involvement in this, no, it's literally his fault. Anyway, nice boss music as always. Autocon sounds like when you knock on the locker. Wait until the second last phase. Oh yeah, they also completely removed one of the faces from this in order to have a cool cutscene instead. Change in this room actually. That. <laughs> okay, hold on. What was Otacon playing on his GameCube? I think Otacon was glitching Phantom Pain or something. There's a clown folder. It's one of the commands. I think there's multiple commands. Oh, what the fuck? It follows you after you move. Ten dicks. If only you could put an animated thing there. That'd be like spin in the game. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I fucked that thing up. Interesting, the animation makes him shift backwards as opposed to forward, like in the original. It's the exact opposite. <laughs> Damn, I need to do a bandana playthrough one of these days. I never really fucked with the bandana in, in Twin Snakes. Nine years. Thank you. Oh, yeah, because we don't usually get phasers in images, too. I mean, yeah. I guess 
it kind of looks like what when enemies shoot you. You can see their bullets in flight and images too. No, I didn't do anything to it. That would be oddly specific to, to fuck with the bullets in flight. Uh, doesn't that respawn somewhere? Maybe not. Ah, fuck it. I guess because you don't actually need it for this fight, it doesn't respawn. That kick that has less range. And that's the only good piece of voice acting in this game. Sneak. Grunting when he bumps into something. Because it's the same as MGS2. <laughs> they get the same one. Nice. So there is good voice acting in this game. And now... They completely removed the last phase of this fight. Because when you drain Ninja's health instead. The fight ends instantly, so we can have this cool cutscene instead. Yeah, you know, I've seen quite a few people deal with uh, that last phase and get surprised by it, and it's just part of the fight's identity. But no, you get fighter jet noises instead. Brand. You could argue that Cam Clark and Pat Zimmerman are still trying, but it's still worse than the original. So, yeah. Sorry. I built a snake. Do you remember me now? It can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. I am in the remake. You were really just straight up stole that from the screen just now. <laughs> nice. Is this the Miracle's handiwork? Ah, okay, cool. I think it takes 12 chokes to snap somebody's neck. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You yourself in Zanzibar land. Uh, it's yes. simple. In the original, Ocelot is bluffing. Ocelot has no way to detect auto fire in the original. In Twin Snakes, though, he does detect it. He also detects it if you're naturally too fast. He can be too fast with a regular controller. And he still detects it. And in that case, it kills you. So it's, he started the gene therapy it's both, technically. And where is he now? 
He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. It's not Someone on my Mac as loud as that Naomi's asleep. Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body <laughs> of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar land. The fall of Zanzibar. That was Gray Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. The less you Today's maneuver a remote controlled missile, the faster it will fly. That's the sickest thing I've ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. You shouldn't for Hill find not to wake up her roommate. Hey, rent is expensive in LA, dude. I need roommates. The record said he died in an accident. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I can tell, he didn't know who he was. You're saying he's just living off his will to fight? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Mm -hmm. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. How long are you going to stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? You a hamster too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Hamster con. It stands for You're Hamster Convention. You're the Metal Gear Rex chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. <laughs> awesome hurt. rat. The rat. Rat steer, yep. Hopefully that's what happens. Uh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles, only for defensive purposes, of course. Liar! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? Aren't they just trying to use the TMD missile module to launch a disabled nuclear warhead? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know. No. All the armament was built by a separate department. And the president personally supervised the final assembly with the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but... Are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah. 
But that's not all, I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So, this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? Let the terrorists launch that thing? <laughs> no. Damn! Damn! I'm such a fool! It's all my fault. The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father? He was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But in the end, I was the one being used. Using science for peace? That's only in anime. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this Today, base are they keeping it? Your grip it? has gotten stronger. Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower. But it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the base's Good. control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few Out hours, they must not need bingo. me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, we'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by Kodak. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Okay. So what then? Jesus, what the fuck? <laughs> you know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. What happened to the music? Don't worry. I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was going to use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg is and all. Right Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. You know, the sound effects are superior in this game. You can't get enough of it. What happened to the music? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? <laughs> what happened to the music? She has no she ass. wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. Dead. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to A contact dead. her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by A herself. Dead. 
Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. Yes, I will pay you. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you. What's wrong? You get all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I, uh, just glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. <coughs> Forget <coughs> it, Doctor. <coughs> <coughs> Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. Gross. An otaku is a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. Did you like it? And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons. Oh. You know. Yeah. That's what all scientists say. Hey guys, please notice our Easter egg. It's very subtle. Let me I zoom in on. I a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese oh. animes. Really, it's true. Sounds like an excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has progressed because there is war. And because of scientists' greed, weapons of mass destruction were born. But that's all over. I won't take part in murder anymore. Can you stop the, the quackening? <laughs> Jesus. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Gross. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armor. <laughs> fucking game. I just the noticed the game. Ammo, the rations just tell me and I'll bring it to you. Will fly. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. Wait, there's two ducks. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? You know how to be subtle with your Easter eggs. You wouldn't zoom in on it or anything, right? The liquid shit versus the solid shit. GameCube still works with all those bullet holes in it. Running Phantom Pain. What's what's Eli doing? I don't recall that from the game. Are twin snakes exclusive? Maybe when we have more room later, we can keep it. It's kind of annoying though. Maybe lower the volume. Yeah, most of that four hundred thirty dollars nectaries forcing pretty much the autocon ending. It seems. Hey, you went to sleep too. It gets better if you look at the gif, I guess. Yeah, she got no ass. Little 
Unless you maneuver a remote control missile, the faster it will fly. Snake, your grip is Let's see if any of these guys actually has the clack. At this guy. Okay. Maybe this guy. Look, he does have it. Where are these guys coming from? Okay, at least there is a door here. Meryl might not have ass in this, but she does have a dick. The less you maneuver a remote Ooh, she control, that. the faster it will fly. Oh, come back! Damn it, I missed. And I'll just wait for her. Fuck it. She should come back out unless they change that. She took that disguise really seriously. She she even put on a dick for it. She stole Johnny's dick and screwed it on or something. Actually, I'm curious to see if she comes back out. She should, but people who made this game might not might not know that. Yeah, but her dick hitbox disappears once she takes off the disguise. Uh, yeah, there she is. <laughs> so it's part of the disguise. What is she doing? Is she washing her hands? Oh, she's walking really slowly now. Let's see if we can punch Meryl in the dick. There you go. <laughs> this is Johnny's dog tag. Gross. He's really committed to the disguise. Whoa! What? What? Master 420 gift. Wait, what? That's a hundred dollars donation to Quack Meryl. Save Meryl. Holy shit! Who? You know who you are. Thank you. <laughs> Damn, it's getting closer now. Ooh, you guys have been crazy with the donations for this run. Thank you. Let me, let me escort you on the dock now. If you already, do you have a bunch of random different images for that? Or do you keep changing it? I forgot, yeah, that's perfect. There's, there is a picture of Kojima riding a duck. Indeed. <laughs> I wonder if I can destroy her radio. It's not like she uses it anyway. Punch her in the dick. Yeah, she has like no ass in this. What is this? I, 
think you can set it up so that it cycles through random images, maybe. So you can add all those ducks. <laughs> Punching Meryl in the dick is pretty addicting, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, they completely removed any chance. Oh, she's actually gonna check on that guy. It's not like she's gonna do anything. You can make him disappear. Uh, damn, that should really help me hide bodies like that. What the fuck did she notice? So as soon as you enter here, the cutscene starts, meaning that you don't get a chance to call anybody about being in the women's bathroom. Probably another form of censorship. Oh, yeah, I could have tried to show her in the arm. Next time, a year from now. Don't move. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. <clears throat> Your Meryl. There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so... feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. <laughs> Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. Gross. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? I'm not sure it was the blood you were smelling. Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I'm a fan of Foxhound way back, when guys like you and my uncle were in it. <laughs> None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. None of that quack there therapy. No you guys were real anymore. ducks. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison, one or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? Don't worry, they got this generic ass sad music I'm instead of best is yet to come. On the battlefield, there's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. What happened to the That's music? Right. And you fight for the people. Snake, Have your grip has gotten stronger. Myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? Gross. You can't stop loving war. Is it the same for all soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My Kodak was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? Anyway, how did you recognize me in disguise? Uh, never That's probably the case, Dr. Gray. As many other that things that? point out in this game. You've got a great butt. That but. would point to that. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. 
There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear, or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Now, where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. I heard that Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north of here. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down. I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. What happened to the music? I always despise that kind of woman. I've always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. And so, you became a soldier. I thought I was, until today. Now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself. But good! Afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. <laughs> the Google royalty free sad I'm music. I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know... Take a good look. You won't be seeing mirrors for a while. There won't be any chances to wash your face, either. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. You lose, you die a dog's death. Yeah. Is that Fama's functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Uh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Now you treat me like a woman? Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. It looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened? To what happened the to the music? music? Oh, and then they yeah, fucked it up sure even more because there's way. supposed to be no music here. <laughs> now that he says that there is there's a little bit of Mantis' theme playing. Oh my god, I forgot that they, they double fucked it up. Okay. Hey, Steven Blackett, thank you for the 44 months. Uh, oh yeah, the ammo doesn't matter because they also fucked it up during the fight. 
And at least they kept the nipples through the tank top. The important details. What? What is it? Hey, there, there's one in there. Where's the other one? Why are you staring at my? She only have one nipple. What? Ah. Hold on. And it's kind of too subtle in the other one. <laughs> One more dick hitbox. <laughs> Shit, I don't know how to glitch on top of the table in this one. It would have been cool if she actually opened the locker, but I guess it's too much. Which is weird, because enemies have an animation to open the locker. They could have done that. <laughs> Hugmaster, thank you for the 17 months. Shit. Damn, that's hella damage. Is how much damage? Uh, Holy shit, that's a lot more than you doing? in the real game. Okay. Uh, 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 oh shit! shit. How could you? Why? Punched in the mouth Snake. to death. What happened? Snake! 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 Meryl. Your grip has gotten stronger. Oh, you hear Meryl here, no matter how she dies. Yeah, I will always call it in, in the real game, the real MGS1, not this farce here, or whatever. Okay, so no matter how she dies, you hear Snake say Meryl in the game over screen, even if you fucking kill her yourself. Nice. Damn, she's still talking. Why? Snake. What happened? Snake. Snake. Meryl. Oops. I wonder if he still drops on his knees when she dies during the fight. Now we gotta find out, actually. I don't remember testing it. So we'll have her um, shoot herself during the Mantis fight and see. Do they still have that animation where Snake drops on his knees for the game over? Probably not. I don't know. I want to say that's not a thing. Maybe? Maybe we just haven't tested it. She's in the remake. Don't come here, Snake. <laughs> Are you okay? Mr. Black Pound. Okay. Let's go. Come on, <laughs> this is Crows is Autocon. The commander is waiting. Let's see if there's anything different in this room. A little bit. <laughs> A new thief. Oh no. Peeper is taking over. 
Fuck you, never face of the statue. I forgot about that. Do you like me? Hold me, snake. snake. Your grip is too strong. Hurry, uh, please make love to me. The less you maneuver a remote control, Dark Souls music. I want you. Oh, Who's that? Preferred ducks. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Snake, no, it's not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psychomantis. He's controlling now. That thing is his mind controlling music. Don't use your weapon. Try to not die. Don't use your weapon. Okay. Lockers snake. What happened to the music? <laughs> Lockers snake. Huh? I hope that's not your only trick. You, you doubt my power. Now I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. No, there's no need for words, snake. I am Psychomantis. That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. It's useless. I told you. I can read your what happened to the music? Thoughts. You are a very methodical man. The type that always kicks his tires before he leaves. You are a highly skilled warrior, well suited to this stealth mission. You are extremely careful of traps. You are either very cautious, or you are a coward. Still don't believe me? Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. Saved games. Gross. Your memory is completely clean. Mm. You are not saved very often. You are somewhat reckless. I can read you like an open book. Snake, you still don't your grip has gotten me. stronger. I will show you my psychokinetic power. Put your controller on the floor. Put it down as flat as you can. <laughs> That's good. A whoop. Now, I will move your controller by the power of my will alone.
demonstration is over. <laughs> yeah, they might as well have done that. We were. Blackouts. Oh, wow. Locker's snake. <laughs> Alright, let's do this bullshit. Except, oh, you don't actually need to bother. Just check where he is or use the thermal goggles. Or just switch the controller. Who cares? We have infinite ammo. I guess we gotta dodge these, uh... though. Even when you do run out of ammo, it respawns instantly <laughs> in this corner. Because, of course, they completely missed the fact in the original that it's supposed to respawn in the opposite corner that you're on. So the whole fucking fight is trivialized. Why not? Oh yeah, let's let Meryl shoot herself. I want to see. Uh, first, we gotta put her down here. Don't even have to move for that. I honestly have no idea if they kept the animation for it. Let's find out. Nope, of course not. Of course not. Nothing. Literally the same as if you kill her yourself. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what the fuck I expected from Twin Snakes, but they don't have a special game over for it. Where Snake drops on his knees and screams Meryl's name. Is okay. Oh, and this is a checkpoint. Okay. Oh, fuck that. Apple nozzle, thank you for the fifty three months. Eh, who gives a shit? The entire fight is ruined. I'm a whole mag without hitting him. <laughs> Like the techno remix of Mantis' theme. That's okay. We'll allow it for today. <laughs> you are powerful indeed, but I know your weak points. Meryl, stand right where he can see you and blow your brains out. Meryl! 
It's actually ridiculous how you don't have to move to do anything. <laughs> that damage. And as we learned last time, even on extreme, it's like the same damage. I think it's the same damage. So the damage is ridiculous. The ammo respawn is ridiculous. And knocking it all out is ridiculous. Nice. Oh wow, still had a hitbox. <laughs> Just another ruined boss fight. Oh, actually, damn. When I'm spraying like that, when the paintings are flying around, you can accidentally hit one of them. And yeah, unfortunately we destroyed Phantom Pain, the FIFA Pain. Oh well, I might as well destroy the others too now. <laughs> nice. Colonel, your niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off. Right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake? Because you were asleep. Maybe it's because you like her. I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people. But that does not mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. This is a lot better. I will wait until his mask is off. My precious. Not and see that it's just some dude's hand in that messy emote. <laughs> I could not see the person's hand underneath. Hey, monster! 
That's much better. You want to find your future, Just keep the mask on. Go through that door. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever used my power to help someone. That's nostalgic, it's yeah. Me. Being the first time and everything, it's nostalgic. Okay. Lovelius with the Prime sub. Thank you. Glad you joined the stream. I, I promise that we play actual Metal Gear. Let's go. Other than now. this, you just I'm met so me at a strange time in my life. How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're going to doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Don't regret your past. Learn from it. Regrets just make a person weaker. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? More complaints? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering... Yeah, this version is so good, I have to play at least once a year, man. <laughs> what? What's the problem now? I probably play Twin Snakes more often than any Twin oh, Snakes no. fans out there. Nothing. Lockers, so Snake. tell me, Snake. <laughs> what's your name? Your real name? A name means what? nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. <laughs> How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? Outer uh, Bingo. I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone, just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get rose. You're a sad gross. man. Why is Autocon putting on stealth on. camera for Let's that? Go. Give it his face. What happened to the music? Locker's snake. I keep noticing these gifts for the first time when I look. Uh. Outer uh, bingo. And he doesn't even have any of the unique camera angles when you crouch next to him. Oh shit, she woke up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fuck. What are you doing? Alright. Moth attack. Look at me looking for the coolant that doesn't exist. Cooler socket. Oh, now she has the other dog tag. Makes sense, I guess. Damn, there's a real boss fight here. What are you doing? How could you? The less you maneuver a remote controlled missile, the faster it will fly. What happened? Snake! Snake! Let's see if they kept the game over, it says Nero. 
Even after the fight? Okay. Why not? So it has nothing to do with the Mantis fight. They just completely changed it. Delicate, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, everybody. Could there be wolves in here? Glad you can experience MG Swan the way it's Dogs. meant to be played. Half wolf, half husky. Apparently. How do you know so much? According to. I ride dog sleds. The back I'm of the package. I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. The greatest remake ever made. Oh, here we go. Twin Snakes Dogs. Oh my god. You guys ready for ETS doo doo? <laughs> they look so bad. Uh, once we get to the end here, it's supposed to be dark, but whatever. We don't care about lightning in this game. The dogs that look like they've been stung in the mug by a bee. It's like swollen or some shit. <laughs> and then they look high as fuck. Especially the little guy here. Oops. You okay there, buddy? <laughs> what is this face? God, I don't know how to model fucking anything in this game. <laughs> uh, I'm real high, man. <laughs> there, there seems to be some, I don't know, some correlation between bad looking Wolves and shitty Metal Gear games, both Twin Snakes and Phantom Pain. It is. Now there is actually a look at him. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had the camera just so we didn't have the binoculars uh, interface. Eh? There is a way to kind of fix him, that is, like that. Punch him and he actually opens his eyes. That's a little better, but damn. <laughs> Maybe this guy too. Oh, there you go. That's how you get him to open their eyes. I guess I never bothered to check if they kept the um, easter egg that the little pup is immortal. Probably, right? And let's fucking shoot these dogs because they're ugly anyway. What? No head hitbox? Oh, holy shit, that sound. Let's check. Again, these might be twin snakes dogs, but we do not condone violence against dogs. They're video game dogs. They're twin snakes dogs at that, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, they, they kept it. He's still immortal. You never know at this game. They just don't keep details usually. Let's piss it. Damn, it's a really thick. Stream of piss. What are you thinking? Let's go, sir. Oh, let's see if they kept um, the the warnings when you're about to step on a claymore. This place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar isn't working, and since we can't use the mine detector either. 
Leave it to me. So what do you think? Pretty good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well... Ah, everything is just so off. Way she moves and shit. Um, okay, so now we got a couple things to try. One thing, if you actually do step on a claymore, you will... slap her ass, because... that's what happens. That's how it should be. It's Kojima's true vision. What's the holy shit? These climbers do like no damage. I didn't need the ration. <sighs> and then we need to actually get a continue here to see if they have the other warnings that we were looking at just the other day in the real MGS1. Somehow, I don't think they have that. They probably just have... Oh well. They probably just had the footprints again. It's gonna take a long time to die to this. I didn't even do damage. Good. He slaps her ass every time. Is there even any more mines here? <sighs> Why don't they fucking do damage? <laughs> Normal ass. Please just fucking die. Okay. Let's see if they get that. Probably not. gotten <laughs> stronger. Nope. Just, just like I thought. Just as I thought, Unless they just keep the footprints. Missile, the faster it will fly. There's no Meryl warning you and stopping you. <sighs> Yet another detail gone. I don't know what I expected. And then she walks all the way back just to slap you. <laughs> no footprints this way though. Okay. What are you thinking? And then she walks back again. <laughs> oh, we don't even get to see you, uh, Lane. Oh, there's a split second before the game over there. Does that mean... What if we run there? Alright, hold on. Ah, uh, now I gotta try this. Let's clear this. No claymores. I could just shoot him, actually. I don't accidentally trigger it. But if I shoot him, I think she's gonna slap her ass. Just purely because it went off. Maybe not. Okay, cool. I can fucking see the laser sight. Okay, so if I fucking kill her and run there, what happens? Snake. Ah. No way. <laughs> yes! 
I fucking knew it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, as soon as I saw that delay there, I knew something was up. Like, wait, we can run there before the game's over. Uh, I mean, that's what happens anyway, right? What if we soft lock the game and she dies? <laughs> Oh yeah, also leaving the room. You're right. <laughs> Damn, I didn't think of that. Nice. Let's see. Oh, we made a new discovery. Easter eggs. Leave me and run. Rotten eggs, more like. I guess I'm a rookie after all. Don't worry, Meryl. It's me they want. <laughs> Even I know that. It's the oldest trick in the book. You already know the answer to that, viewer. Please. Snipers use Stop trying to bait. Stop being a master baiter. They want details. <laughs> yeah, that's bait. Don't move. I promised I wouldn't slow you down. Eh, just let the average person who doesn't have a PS3 play the Master Collection. They won't know any better. It's fine. Save your strength. Did they fix the analog on console I'm just one yet? Okay, that's one thing. It's pretty big actually. Now all they're gonna do is fix the colors, fix the sound, fix the rest of the controls. <laughs> no. Get out of here. The less you maneuver a remote control, the nicely time. Snipers usually work. Yes, I guess Miss Lana. I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. Doesn't matter. I can sleep for hours, She's days, or weeks, Snake. For you to expose yourself. It makes no difference. I'm asleep, don't you know? Very genes. So saving someone else's skin is out of the question. I wouldn't go that far, but I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal. I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else either. I'm going to save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake, thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. Let's see if we soft lock the game. Nope, okay. Yeah, I guess the flamers are still there. This is bullshit, 556 five, totally reached there, but okay. You can even see it. <laughs> okay. I mean, there's still the matter of the, the sound, and I don't know if it's the colors, the lightning, all the post processing shit, the. Um, Whatever else, I guess the P PC version, like, texture filtering and shit, like, the Master Collection is all over the place still, but, uh, maybe I'll check out MGS1 again then. You have this, right? Okay. 
You want to test the delay now? Ah, fuck it. I actually saw a tweet of a guy who said, MGS1 never had analog support. Enjoy it the way it was meant to be played. <laughs> oh, the paintings are back. Nice. Damn, I only have two rounds though. Hmm. Ah, uh, this might be the best part of this game. You can shoot Kiefer and Kojima. Ah, oh, that was nice. <laughs> uh, this is an immortal Kiefer laptop. Damn. Oh my god, we should actually put Hater's face on this and then shoot it where he put the marker dots on his face in that tweet. <laughs> Saying that you can do facial capture too. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> I think we have a link for it maybe. He, he actually did that. It was a bit salty about the whole Kiefer situation. Yeah, I think that guy was just universally quoted and shamed by everybody. Oh, here's our hero again. That guy. It's a lot of quacks. Soul quacking from the dead. Random locks here. Wait a second. Hold on. Stop. This is Twin Snakes. We don't need to backtrack. I forgot. I almost thought this was a real Metal Gear Solid one for a second. <laughs> this is. Where am I going? This is Twin Snakes. There's no backtracking. We got to play with Quack Guy. I'm playing Twin Snakes the wrong way, I know. Imagine if you had to backtrack all the way to the tank hangar B2 floor. Yeah, no way. That would make this game very uncool. You only need to go here. Magic PSG 1T appears out of nowhere. <laughs> Also, they specifically, for some reason, they really specifically go out of their way to avoid saying PSG1 in this game. Which is weird, because the name has it. Well, I guess this this is the tranquilizing one, so I wouldn't have the call, but even when you call Nastasha about it, she just goes out of her way to just say, that rifle, that weapon, he never says PSG1. Maybe, maybe HK got a little touchy about it. It's is really weird. But okay.
Ah, she actually reloads. Shoot her in the cleavage. What delay? She's gone now. <laughs> How many fucking hours did you spend trying to do this with Mackers so you never noticed that Meryl was gone? When you come back with a sniper rifle, she's gone. <laughs> Shit. They kept the same sniping points. Ah. I got her. If we had to add that I got her, otherwise the game wouldn't be improved. <laughs> So fucking weird. Some of these choices that they made, but okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forget if the blood stains. Probably not there because I use a PSG one T. I think when I use the, the real PSG one. They still have the blood stains. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You found the hater thing I was talking about, viewer? Yep. Oh, it's not the full tweet, though. Uh, the tweet where he says, Turns out I can do facial capture, too. And he posted Walking that picture. <laughs> See what I mean now? <laughs> we should maybe put that picture there. Uh, I thought I had it somewhere. Mm, don't remember. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's deleted the tweet, but there's a screenshot of the whole tweet, not just uh, the picture. That's somewhere. Forget where am I? I don't remember if I have it. Oh, there we go. Did Safi link it? That's really weird. That link didn't show up in my other chat. Oh, there it is. It was just slow. Wow, turns out I can do facial capture. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, he was pretty salty about it. It's not the same thing. You only link the picture. Sefi linked the tweet, which has the picture actually cut off, so we kind of need both. You linked the wrong thing. Yep. It, I seem to have changed the speed to 50%. Okay. Stop Ramens, thank you for the 91 months. Hey, it's been a while since we had a rules of nature moment. How can we improve this scene, guys? Oh, I know. Now it's cool. Toss your weapon over here. Slowly. There's no magazine in that PSG one. Yeah, there's literally no magazine in it. Stupid man. Maybe the five round Wait magazine is so gone. short. Don't you know that the majority of the world's great assassins are women? Do you want to die now, or after your female friend? Which will it be? I'll die after I kill you. <laughs> Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. Oh no, viewer, what are you doing, viewer? 
No. What? I am Sniper Wolf, and I always kill what I aim at. You are my special prey. Got it? I've left my mark on you. I won't forget it. Until I kill you. Damn it, she ruined the Kappa Proctor too. All I'll think about. Oh, <gasps> Take him away. Don't kill him. Yet. What, you don't like the improved version of this scene? Because I'm sure these guys knew better. I want no more accidents like that DARPA. This is a professionally made piece of software. They knew better. Mine alone. <laughs> Achilles, thank you so much for 27 months. Oh no, the worst torture. No, anything but that, please. Me, solid snake. He's tougher than I thought. Gross. Do you know who I am? I always knew that one day I would meet you. The man who stole the light from my life because of you. The light from my life. Did they have a bad breakup or something? We can probably put a bunch of different memes the in these lights. The we can put Kiefer. We can put Kojimbo. We can put Konami. We can put Malak. Do you need his genetic information too? Yes. I want a sample while he's still alive. We need it to correct the genome soldier's mutations. Then we'll be able to cure them. <laughs> the code talker, the wall box here. We still yeah. have to get our hands on big boss. The Chinko that's stranding air. Who <laughs> space surrounded by that stranding cast? Not yet. They won't give in. They're all hypocrites. Every one of them. Is that your opinion as a Kern? They always put politics first. That's right. That's why they want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend is awake. I don't know, my pink jeans are gone. There definitely is a resemblance. <laughs> Don't you think, Malak in the back. little brother? He stole my jeans. Or should I say, big brother? Lockers, I'm snake. Not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You and I are both the last surviving sons of Big Boss. Here's a question. Which door is Liquid gonna leave from? <laughs> it's me. Pay attention to which door what? Liquid uses to leave. The scene kids. in a bit. Which door does it go through? Hmm. I'll be right there. They're not responding to our demands. You could probably put we something on this phone too. In ten hours as planned. Damn Americans. Looks like you read them wrong. Something's funny. Normally the Americans are the first ones to the negotiating table. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down to it, has it? We're gonna launch that nuke and ride it all the way into history. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? 
Wanna stay for the show? I'm not interested. Second boss fight? What's the first one? That's not a boss fight, damn it. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, come on. You see Ocelot is the second boss fight in this game? No. I didn't think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well, his mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Ocelot just remembers Malak from his Phantom Pain days. He's killed twelve men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. His fond memories of his comrade Malak. Master took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps there's a spy among us. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find out what killed Baker and Octopus. We're short-handed, so make this little torture show of yours as short as possible. Torture? This is an interrogation. <laughs> as you wish. See you later. Where are you going, Liquid? You going through the cell? He leaves through the fucking cell door. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you in the cell, brother. He's just hiding there. He just realized what he's done. He's like, oh shit, I guess I'll just wait here until they leave. Your woman is still in this world. Meryl. <laughs> I'm in the back there. Quite this sneak away, crawl away. Now the shitter is the other way. Catch you later, handsome. Her voice does not match her movements at all, her mood, but okay. At least she left she through the right the door. She doesn't think about anything else. Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. Finally. Just the two of us. How are you feeling? Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolver. You were. What the fuck have you done? You, were... <laughs> you sped up Naomi's dialogue. This is some bed, all right. I'm about to Nah, I don't like that. <laughs> You really sped up the whole fucking thing conversation of a uh, great fox, big boss, fox die. Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone must have a lot of faith in your skill, No, please. Oh my god. No. I told you it's too long. It's gonna overlap. <laughs> Please remove that. <laughs> this is pure fucking chaos. Please. <laughs> Maybe we've given the viewer too much power. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you maneuver a remote control missile, the faster it will fly. I see. 
<laughs> Jesus, we can stop, please. We still got the MGS Con page from last year on the computer. We'll make diamonds from their asses. What happened to the music? What happened to the music? Press the resist button repeatedly to regain your strength. So here's the other key thing that the developers missed in this game. Both Snake and Ocelot nodding at the camera at one point. There are no continues, my friend. Then realize that Snake is a player. No, you idiot, the player's over there. Snake, it's been a long time since you saved your game. Yeah? So what? If your body can't survive the torture, it'll be game over. Do you really want to travel down that long road again? Come on, I won't tell. Why don't you just give up? I'm going to run. Well, it's probably the most pathetic torture in Little Gear history. If it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. I thought we should consider this Metal Gear history, I guess. Who first thought of using electrical shocks as a means of torture? Hey, French films are all right, but I don't care about that crap. Mm, you're a tough guy, Snake. But I've got some bad news for you. You're no POW. You're oh. a hostage. There's no Geneva Convention. No one is coming to save you. That was the most chaotic so moment that we've had in a while. Good. You should be. Okay. Let's get started. Uh, auto fire. <laughs> Yeah, I have to slow down. If I go too fast, we run the risk of. It doesn't matter, it's just pathetically short torture, anyway. But we do run the risk of triggering it. Had enough yet? My jeans are back. Yeah, there's some sort of cutscene model that is different. Extra. You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. You're the boss's brother, all right. Your brother. He's an amazing man. Who else could shoot down two F-16s with a chopper? The Les Enfants Terribles project was not a total failure. He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality. Now, Malak is only there as moral support to Ocelot. Because remembers when they were comrades. Talks about it. <laughs> now, this call, this ambience here, is actually the worst offender in terms of just, just bad and dull direction, complete lack of music sound effects and the voice acting being shit this is i think the call that's the most Gross. affected by it because damn the, the the way it builds up in the real game with all the the, the music and the shit in the background it's just completely missing it's just dull as fuck this is like the hardest call to listen to i think oh well Twin Snakes things. Local, thank you for the 62 Snake, months. Are you okay? I've been better. How's Meryl? They got her. Damn. Colonel. Okay. I know. Snake, the government has decided not to give in to their demands. We're trying to buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? 
I'm sorry about Meryl, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? You knew it all along, didn't you? Why did you try to hide it? I'm sorry. Locker's snake. Can't tell the grunts, huh? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear, secret advanced nuclear weapons research. Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the president had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis. Is, like Is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible. Yeah, they're really hard. Yes. And tomorrow, the president and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to see. Oh my god, I can't do this shit. Just make it end, please. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still have an even modified start too, or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the president's reputation. And America's place as a dominant superpower. Oh, you talk like that. Please, sweetie. Just stop him. I'll serve you address. He calls. We're relying on you. In that case, tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before. I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have their boss's remains. You see? Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about. The president has adopted a firm public stance vis-a-vis -vis bioethics. We don't want the existence of the genome army to go public. And that's the only reason? <laughs> well, you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the Dark Chief is lying right here next to me. Poor oh, man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Did it slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the Chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the many machines in the transmitter. Did the Chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. Is there any way to prevent it? It seems there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. If the countermeasure that Armstead installed secretly, you have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. I'm sorry to have to lay all of your route, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Also, what? Metal, right? Yeah. I'll say that. Thanks. It's so hard. I think this might, might be the worst fucking part. It's so hard to just be sitting in the cell without the music. With the shitty voice acting, the shitty lightning, the complete lack of music. Ugh. It's just insane. What the fuck were they thinking of this game? Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up in there, will ya? The weakest fucking delivery of that line. They changed my favorite Johnny line too when you hide under the bed. What are you playing around with? Yeah. Get up in there, will ya? Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up in there, will ya? Gross. Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up in there, will ya? Hey. Anyway, we'll wait for the second session portion and Autocon and then decide. Hey. Hopefully we don't get sniped. Because hey. it's just better when Meryl dies and twin snakes. For reasons hey. that should be obvious. Hey. Hey. That's nah, pretty bad. Hey. Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up in there, will ya? Snake, it's showtime. Ocelot wants you. No, I'm afraid it's not modded. That's the real voice acting in this game. I'll tell you once more. Press the resist button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the surrender button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. I fought Snake. wars in Afghanistan. Your grip has gotten stronger. Mozambique. Eritrea. Yeah, just ask the guy in the wonder behind me. Among the he knows all about it. <laughs> I was known and feared as Shalashaska. I was trained by the uh, Russian Oracle, Thank you for the 52 months. I'm not like one of those KGB slugs. To me, this isn't torture. It's a sport. We're in big medic, but You're countless enemy snipers and helicopters, I'll have you know. Don't confuse me with those uniformed fools. More like the Mujahidin. Where the fuck are they? <laughs> you 
Everything is so fucked up. How did you like that? Shall we go? You, you just can't see them in Phantom Pain because they're Muja hidden. <laughs> strong man well that's enough for now I think we live in a sad age the less you maneuver a remote control <laughs> missile the faster it will fly perestroika 20th century Russia has had its share of problems but at least they had an ideology Russia today has nothing they're struggling between freed and order and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The Hind was just a down payment. So, you're in this for the money? Gross. I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn, to lead a brave new world order. Still okay. Yeah. Trunks took a stealth camouflage, that is. I have a favor to ask. I need your help. I was wondering when you'd ask. What should I do? I've been captured. I'm locked up here in this cell. What cell? Uh, there's a big torture machine nearby. Okay, I know it. It's close. I'll be there right away. Thanks. I should just put a picture of a hamster there and said. Hey. You okay, Snake? Oh, God. Yeah. Nothing new to report. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah, wake up. My arm hurts. Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Snake, put the controller up against your arm. What? Don't worry. It'll feel good. Huh? Okay, here I go. Ooh. How does that feel, Snake? A little better? A shiatsu massage. <laughs> How did you do that? I stimulated your muscle fibers with the nanomachine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What is can you say? Idea? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No, wait. But dude! There was a man who said he was my father. Lockers, Snake. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss? There was no Gross. way It happened in Zanzibar land six years ago. Only Snake's Snake. know the real Your grip has gotten stronger. There. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. The less and you maneuver a remote controlled him. missile, the faster it will fly. Yep. How? It's what we wanted. Me. And him. That's patricide. Yeah. That's the trauma of my life. Just like Mantis said. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while. And Alaska was the perfect place. Oh, Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood related and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. What happened to the music? Snake. 
Is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> You're still calling me friend? Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. <gasps> Big Boss is most trusted lieutenant. And the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. Did you like it? I learned a lot from him. But didn't you try to kill each other? It's true. We did. In Zanzibar land. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven. But he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. It makes no sense. Just violence, murdering each other. Yeah. I think so, too. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. It's your genes. Locker's you snake. Disposed toward violence. You really like talking about <coughs> genes. <coughs> Naomi, why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were. Locker's or snake. Looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA. I thought if I could thoroughly Dud. understand DNA, I could get back my identity. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. What happened to the music? The less you maneuver a remote-controlled sure, missile, the faster it will fly. The genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Locker's Nothing. snake. I... I'm sorry. I have no idea. I don't know. I'm asleep. Of not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. Did you like it? Shut up in there, will ya? <laughs> oh, my stomach. Damn it. Gross. Probably, I mean, since they Snake. complain about the, how much they got paid. <laughs> it matches the performance. Alright, after the autocon scene here, we'll stop counting for donations. Hopefully, Meryl stays dead. captured you her get down of here uh, let me go that hurts what happened to the music uh, hurry up snake is that how you ask a guy a favor let me go An animal's oh, cage. What a smell. Not because of him. Hi! It's the DARPA chief. Did if you, like you don't hurry up and get me out of here, I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards. This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? I... I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later.
Also, I got you this level six card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. Wake up, you idiot. She's the one who shot Meryl. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you'll have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. <clears throat> He's coming back. Oh, geez. He's coming back. See you later. Wait. And Meryl's dead. Nice. Wait, if Meryl is dead, we gotta do the other torture. That's okay, I'll just fuck up the ketchup then. What the hell? Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. <laughs> what are you playing around with that ketchup for? Alright, now we gotta do the other torture session just to kill Meryl. God, this is so bad without the music. Hey, shut up in there, will ya? Hey, Snake, it's showtime. Ocelot wants you. You guys can recognize the pass poster? Damn. Tell you once more. Press the resist button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the surrender button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. Okay, let's get started. Yeah, at this point, I just sort of want this thing to be over with. <laughs> Not think about it for another year. <laughs> You're in. A dud. Lockers, snake. So you're human after all. The torture will stop as I promised. But I'll take the woman in return. Outer. I'll have Bingo. my fun with her. Before I kill her. Meryl. I hope you can still look at yourself in the mirror, my friend. I got the best ending. The rolling hamster con ending. Spoilers. Shut up in there, will ya? He's so polite. Oh, not again. Oh. Unfortunately, you can't kill Johnny in this. Because I guess they already knew he was an MGS2, so... Time paradox. So we gotta improve the timeline. Autocon. 
So, you're here to get me out? Huh? <laughs> Flips away. <laughs> what happened to the music? But even if you try to snap Johnny's neck here, Snake just lets go of him and he gets stunned hey. instead. Yep. Ah, all better. Oh, we can't get in the toilet. That sucks. Maybe when, when I come back, let's see. Outer uh... bingo. <laughs> you put the Nessies there. Viewers having way too much fun with these sound effects and gifts. Come on, we gotta take a look at the toilet. This toilet's seen some shit. Oh damn, we already have the cold. Outer... Bingo. What happened to the music? Uh, we should be good. good. Fort Hind. Locker snake. I <laughs> <laughs> still wait for the door. Out uh, bingo. Um oh, that's right, there's people here now. Why do they have a bruise on the side of the head before you do anything to them? It's weird. The less you maneuver a remote controlled missile, the faster it will fly. Uh, this guy comes all the way here. What happened to the music? Yeah, there's probably some emulator setting I can change to fix the snow, but who gives a shit? It's the Twin Snakes. Like it deserves that much respect. Ah, oh, fuck. I think we have the gas mask. Quack guy. Don't quack. <laughs> Look at him go. Come on. Like no damage. Did we stop for the body armor? With this pathetic amount of damage. Ah, eh, fuck it, we don't need it.
Arkham's comrade. Is you like it? And I even fucked up where we switch discs. The little GameCube discs couldn't take it anymore. It's, it's a Come dick on, with two balls, yes. Don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Snake, your grip has gotten stronger. Snake, about Merrill. Colonel, I'm sorry. Listen to me. I wasn't able to protect her. Snake, it's okay. You did what you could. Now let it rest. Colonel. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No, you're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. <laughs> what? Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring what her closer to, to her dead father. The less you she maneuver a remote-controlled missile, the faster it will fly. Real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. What the fuck was that it's picture? Oh, that's not like the back of the this master. case. Nice. What is Sorry for eavesdropping, but I couldn't just listen anymore. Master, Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. Nothing good will come from that. He's right. Don't kid yourself. It doesn't seem like it, Matthew. And besides that, Robin and Meryl's okay, right? They may. Snake. Forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want, too. You're right. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl. She's pretty special to you, huh? Well, yeah, special. There aren't many tomboys like her. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Damn mistake. I woke up for this. Come on. Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. The genes? What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes. He was Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to Nam the Mafia. When was that? Uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? New York, I think. Naomi, I thought that you didn't handle Did it you that like way. it? I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Ah. Snake. Good luck. Watch your back, Snake. <laughs> the Kojima credits. Yeah, viewers is having way too much fun with that. Alright, now we have to go through a very complicated disk change progress or process. In the real end, just one, when it's time to switch disks, it just says insert disk two. That's it. Here, it has this wall of text. <laughs> Press the open button to open the disk cover and replace the MGS Twin Snakes game disk one with the MGS Twin Snakes game disk two after you have changed disk, close to disk cover. This is the reason why 
when you bite peanuts, it says warning, may contain peanuts. Because <laughs> they had to um, specify, I guess, for people on GameCube. Uh, uh, it's just funny, there's a fucking wall of text for it. Um, okay. Change disk. Yeah, this is where we change discs because they run out of space because there's fucking GameCube mini discs. And then the other thing that sucks compared to the real MGS1 is that if you go back to a disc one location, you have to switch the disc again. <laughs> God damn it. And then you go back again, you gotta switch it again. <laughs> The real MGS1 has all the locations from disc 1 and disc 2, so you can go back and forth between the two to change disc, but no. Instructions unclear, disc stuck in disc drive. Time for epic alert music here. Oh yeah, the fucking stun grenades are what? Was that a keeper? No. Stun grenades are not screen wide like in the original, so they're kind of fucking useless here. Well, let's see what happens. His music. And I don't give a fuck about the summer days. They really don't. What happened to the music? <laughs> okay, then. What shall we do? What happened to the music? Oh, these guys act like they have body armor when they clearly don't. You see them tank a few hits like that. That's body armor behavior, but they chose the light infantry model instead of the heavy armor ones for some fucking reason. It was too bright. The whole game is too bright. I don't know what lightning is. Holy frame rate. Is that a giant fire extinguisher? Nah, you can't shoot it. There's like two fire extinguishers stacked together. That's weird. Never noticed that before. Gotta be two stacked together. Hmm, how do we make the scene more epic? I can't believe I picked up the rope, we don't even need it.
you think that's bad, wait until you see Damn. what happens when you beat behind. <laughs> the quintessential Twin Snakes scene. Oh, now Liquid is in the pilot seat, not the gunner seat. And there's nobody in there with him. There's no extra genome soldier. Hold on, I gotta see in gameplay now. It's weird because you can see it. You can see the. I think you can still see the guy in um, the heliport at the beginning. If he switches seats from cutscene to gameplay, I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> Where is he now? Hold on. I'm here. Uh... Come on, get down. I can't see. After going through the. Oh, what the fuck is some grenades here? Maybe go past the walkway, maybe. Nah, there's still nobody there in gameplay, it seems. Nice damage. Yeah, there's nobody there. The rope? What rope? Where are we going? We don't need ropes. Now when you have hanging, this is the cool guy way to do it. Snake, your grip has gotten stronger. <laughs> Press the X kidney beam or the Y kidney. What rope? I wonder if I can fuck with these guys like I usually do. It's probably dead for... Let's see... And they push you back... They, they, they push you back a bunch, but... I think we can still gain on them. Yep. Getting closer. <laughs> He's just face tanking. Yeah, try, try doing this in the real end just one, see what happens. The damage to you is pathetic too. Oh, they actually do the same thing. When you get close, they shoot one round at a time. <laughs> Let's say they also disappear from the door. Oh, they push me all oh, no, they don't. They follow you in. Nice. Ah, I kind of fucked it up though, because now the hind is not showing up there. Oh, it's okay. We already saw that there's nothing in there anyway. I wonder if they're still here though. Maybe the hind will show up now. Yep. Nice. But uh, yeah, there's nobody in there. With the exception that, I mean, it's the same in MG1, but the difference is that they had the decency to make the cockpit non see through. In the real MG1, it's just kind of darkened. So you can't really see inside. In this shit, you can clearly see the empty seats instead. <laughs> Oh my... It's just empty. Okay. The empty seats, that's too good. Uh, 
I believe in transparency. Okay. Okay, the staircase is destroyed all the way up here. Except, since you don't need the rope to go down, you can keep it. So I still have it. Now would be a pretty good fucking time to use the rope. You think? <laughs> if only I had a rope. Oh well. Also, you might think that it makes more sense that the staircase destroyed all the way up here, but I think the only reason that they did that was to cut down on, on backtracking. That's probably the reason they did it, not because it makes more sense. Don't shoot! It's me, don't shoot! It's me, Snake. Otacon, how'd you get here? Well, it wasn't as dramatic as your entrance. Oh, you see, I'm a hamster. I'm afraid of heights. You were watching? Yeah, I was watching. I was riding in the back of their truck, thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you get up here? The elevator, of course. The first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator was working. Yeah, that's right. You're incredible. Like a movie hero or something. No, you're wrong. In the movies, the hero always saves the girl. You mean Meryl? Sorry, forget I said anything. Snake, there's something I've really got to ask you. Snake, I had this generic sad music in the background because we can't use the real one for some reason. Have you ever loved someone? That's what you came to ask. No, I mean... I... I was wondering if even soldiers fall in love. What are you trying to say? Do you think love can bloom... even on a battlefield? Yeah, I do. I think at any time, any place, people can fall in love with each other. But if you love someone, you have to be able to protect them. I think so, too. I have a favor to ask. Uh-oh. Don't worry. It'll be easy. Um, I told you before, I won't hurt anyone. I don't want you to. Okay. The elevator is stopped down there. I want you to get it to move. You see? Outer... Uh... Bingo! That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. I've gotta go and swat a noisy fly. Okay. I'll stay here and hold the fort. Good luck. You really look like hell. Are you okay? Don't worry. If I do this, it doesn't matter. I just pretend like I'm not here. And then I'm not scared. 
Strange logic. I'm counting on you. Everyone looks like hell in this game. How the fuck does he get down there anyway? Ah, they don't have the ration here yet. Oh, I think it's on the way back that you can avoid damage with the roll. High frames from the roll. It doesn't matter, it doesn't like no damage. Who are we shooting? Hmm? Okay. Windows 4. <laughs> the frame rate will completely die. Here we Shooting. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I'll help. Fuck that wall. Jesus. <laughs> it's still going. They have the thing from. No, it's just an HD collection thing, and I'm just still where you see the tiny stinger. Yeah. Oh, that's right, I moved the fucking ladder for some reason. Interesting fight. <laughs> it's it's a fucking joke, mostly. Mostly because one of the biggest gameplay flaws in this game is that when you get attacked in first person, it does not knock you out of first person. Which means you can just face tank everything and spam stingers without moving. And yet, somehow, he still manages to lose me when you do that. There should be a lot of attacks that knock you out of first person and do a lot of damage. I can just one or two, but no. Why are you calling me brother? Who the hell are you? I'm you! I'm your shadow! What? But why is he facing the other way too? I don't know. Okay. Boss fights are highly complicated in this game, such as stand here and never move again. Ah.
God, even a fucking stinger sound effect is off, and it's so unsatisfying when you shoot something. Another thing in common with Phantom Pain, the potato launcher. Damn, locked him. Bro, never moved from this spot. <laughs> Somehow he manages to lose you anyway. What a pathetic fucking fight. one. He still has a hitbox after it's a zero. Nice. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> Here we go. If you have to show anybody what this game is like, show them this. Well, the sniper wolf one comes close. See you in hell. But this is probably the number one. Yep. What happened the to the one music? Craziest. <laughs> I mean, you might as well have kicked the missile back, same shit. Snake, the elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Is that so? Okay. That explosion before, what was it? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. Listen, I just want to make sure again. This is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being stored. Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. And stay out of my way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Call me if you need to. Yeah, there's always people who don't believe this can be real. Oh, <laughs> uh, you'll see. No way. Surely this is fan made, right? This can't be real. Oh fuck, we don't even need the chapter names on the way back. Is 
Just wait until we get the sniper wolf here. Oh, good. That one didn't even five shoot. Nice. Oh man, this is like Autocons of War's fucking delivering the whole game. There were five stealth what? Watch out, Snake. The guy who sold my stealth yeah. prototype so are in there with you. you. Take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Hey, this isn't first grade math class. I thought I'd get like one no you, sense so of urgency whatsoever. And Zero. Yeah. And his tone of voice, like what the missing. fuck? Also, about the elevator that I checked out, it's really strange. It was like someone was intentionally now, holding how is this possible? Why was this allowed? Did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. The warning went off, and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How much do you weigh? About 135. But that elevator had a weight limit of 650 pounds. It would take at least well, five people to go over that limit. Look out, Snake. The guys who stole my stealth prototypes are in there with you. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's see this guy quacks. Nope. It's got a unique one, though. Yeah, the game just operates on the assumption that all people are auto weight 135 soldiers in full gear 135 fun yeah right <laughs> oh, oh we don't even get a chance to look at any of the details here because the fucking fight starts right away lame and backflip away. Snake, are you okay? Autocon, were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's shooting at me in the middle of this blizzard. <gasps> it's her! Wolf? Sniper wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. Z? Autocon. Frank or Z? You sound like you're happy. No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, Please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please. She's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. That woman isn't as sweet as you think. I can see you perfectly from here. <laughs> I told you, I'd never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf, no, you can't. Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. You see, women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this. Snake, I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? 
It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal our location. You think so? Well, a message from me is a message from death. With this sniper roof. You will know death is close. Please, Wolf! Snake! No! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'll pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start. Anyway, some other bullshit in this fight. Let's see. The portions are all off for this area. You can see clearly all the way back there, even without zooming in. And you can see that the bullets actually reach on the other side. Clearly, they're hitting the wall there. <laughs> So, you'd be able to shoot her, right? Yeah, she doesn't give a fuck. She's just not programmed to react, even though you can see it reach. It's stupid, right? But, you know, it's even stupider. Go. And it's even stupider. This works. <laughs> this is if I can hit her, that is. But the M9 works. But the FAMAS does it. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Such a sniper fight. I think it just doesn't do as much damage. That's a little harder to aim. Yeah, we'll still use this, but technically you could. Wow, oh, it sucks if you didn't get a headshot now. Maybe you should have gone to the stinger after all. Oh, come on. Finisher. Nice. But wait, no, this is what actually happened. The less you maneuver a remote controlled missile, the faster you fly. They don't call them the Swagmaster 420s. What happened to the music? No scope. YOLO no scope. For no reason. I'm just saying.
I'm gonna double check, but I'm pretty sure all of our fucking death related calls are gone. <laughs> and then make sure you get a confirmed kill after the snake shoots her in the face. Alright, we shall do that. Quick, I must read the script. Faster. I am the sniper. Waiting is my job. Never moving a muscle. Concentrate. What happened to the music? I am long shot. You cannot save me. Please. Just finish me quick. I am a Kurd. I have always dreamed of a peaceful place like this. Gross. A Kurd. So that's why you're called Wolf. I was born on a battlefield. Raised on a battlefield. Gunfire, sirens, and screams. They were my lullabies. Hunted like dogs day after day. Driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. I'd stare at the morning sun and pray to make it through the day. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. But then... He appeared, my hero, Saladin. He took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean Big Boss? I became a sniper. Outer? Uh, bingo! Watching everything through a rifle scope. What happened to the now music? I could see war not from the inside, but from the outside. As an observer. Outer uh, bingo. I watched the brutality, the stupidity of mankind through the scope of my rifle. Did you like it? Gross. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge on the world. I have shamed myself and my people. I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. Now, I am nothing more than a dog. Wolves are noble animals. <laughs> I'm nothing dogs. more than a duck. In the Sniper duck. For wolf is Keglanek. And the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true. We're all for sale for some price or another. But you're different. Untamed. Solitary. You're no dog. You're a wolf. Who are you? Are you Saladin? Wolf. You spared Meryl's life. Even when I'm just an onlooker, I don't like to see women or children get hurt. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I find you understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. A man like you. You're a hero. Please. Sorry. Why? Why? I loved you. What 
is it? My gun. Give it to me. Goodbye. <laughs> That's a weak ass gunshot, too, compared to the original. Damn. I'm surprised he didn't do a backflip and shoot her in midair. Snake, you said that love could bloom on a battlefield. But I couldn't save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have Is any more tears to shed. <laughs> I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. Don't lose the codec. I'll be behind you all the way. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? Lockers, Snake. If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Okay. I'll be searching too. We're fighting for lockers, apparently. <laughs> okay, let's see something here. Pretty sure, pretty sure a snake shot her in the face, right? But ah, uh, it's not even bloody in the thing. Lame. The handkerchief is just perfectly clean. Um, so all the calls related to Sniper Wolf's death are gone because they're, they're, they got censored, I guess. They're too heavy. The less you maneuver a remote control <laughs> missile, the faster it will fly. 
Remember this if you of course, Colonel. Nothing else. No, nothing else happened. So you beat Wolf, the less huh? you maneuver a remote-controlled missile, the, the faster it will fly. In your first meeting, but remember, don't let down your guard until you've got a confirmed kill. The less you maneuver, don't let down your guard <laughs> until you've got a confirmed kill. Fly. That's the call that plays before the cutscene, the before you get near her. Missile, he tells you to fly. get a confirmed kill. Uh, well, okay. Uh, trying to get a confirmed kill here. Just in case. Okay. Thanks, Master. And then Ming-Ling's call about suicide. Completely gone. Yep. Just, just ridiculous. Now all the calls related to her death are gone. But, since we... God, these fucking claimers do like no damage. But I'm gonna reset here real quick. So we can see the other amazing instances in which that call shows up. <laughs> you can you can blow the entire snowfield. What, if you keep moving her around maybe? Doesn't Snake let go of her at some point? Maybe not. I guess if you have the bandana and enough ammo, you drag it around. Yeah, you just keep spraying blood everywhere like that. <laughs> that would take a long time, but yeah, I guess. Yeah, she dropped the dog tag. Be thankful so much for the 45 months. I don't think the blood uses FPS, because it's just a one-time texture thing. Probably. Uh, I was talking earlier, I was talking about how I, I should probably fuck around with the bandana a little bit in this game, maybe next time, next year, a year from now, because I want to play this shit for a whole year, at least. Oh uh -huh. uh, yeah, here comes another great, amazing level design made for this engine and controls certainly the blast furnace you know you have to deal with the guy and the crane and pressing against the wall and going through and then all that and how about no we'll put that guy down i guess but let's invalidate the whole fucking level design bye GG. And then... <laughs> Epic cutscene with... F th th three... Four... How many dudes there again? I forget. Let's count, shall we? One, two, three, four. I count four. Ah, uh, yes, how that, that's how it works. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You guys see four enemies? Not crazy, right? I think we can all agree that's one, two, three, four. Remember that. That's important. Because you have. Four enemies, clearly. And, um. Nope. How many? One. Two. And three. <laughs> the other guy realized what game he's in and just decided to jump off. Yeah, just just twin snakes details. It's not, but even when I played on extreme, they do the same damage. It's pathetic. It's equally pathetic. I used to say, oh, maybe in extreme you can't do certain strategies, but we can do the exact same thing we're about to do with Raven. Actually, <laughs> you'll see. I, I I play this game on extreme, and the damage of enemies and bosses do is pathetic. It's like the same as very easy on MGS2. I'm not even kidding. 
MGS2 very easy damage is Twin Snakes extreme damage, and I wish I was kidding. But I know how to improve this game. We need some generic shamanic noises as we get close to Raven, because he's a shaven. So let's add some sound effects instead. <laughs> I guess we gotta do the call first. Snake, Hurry it up. I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on. Even a high school student can see past it. Didn't they only say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. At the time when Edgar Hoover was head of the FBI, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 50s... Why not? Was he racist? Did we, um, censor that? Yeah, we did. But you better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying. That ninja. Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime... More Nintendo censorship, of course. They don't mention that Hoover was a racist like in the original. Oh shit, I left I left the fucking speed up. I sped up the sounds too. Ah well. This is seriously this fucking raven strategy. It even works on extreme, it's just insane. But first, it's a cutscene in this game, so some stupid shit has to happen first. Vulcan duck. How dare you kill my ducks? World, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank. Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> but that was no true battle. <laughs> Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? I... I can't move. Somebody seen this game for the first time. Am I hallucinating? This can't be real. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. What happened to the music? Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. There's no crows in my family tree. You ready? I am not fond of snakes, but you are family, so I cannot complain. But there will be no holding back. 
You live in Alaska, too. You know of the World Eskimo Indian Olympics. With that strength, you must have been training in the stick pull and four-man carry. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It's an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. Now there is no Maktak eating contest in this. Ears. The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we will see if there is iron in your words. Okay, we could start the fight now, but this is Twin Snakes. We gotta do some stupid shit first. of nature wow with a cutscene that epic i wonder what the actual fight is gonna be like hmm shall we well hello and highest difficulty as well by the way <laughs> okay nice good game mechanics just as the boss said it is my existence which is no longer needed in this world but my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you. Understand? <laughs> Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are 
a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss, you are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. Is he like it? First, I'll give you a hint. The man you saw die before your eyes. That was not the DARPA chief. It was Decoy Octopus, Gross. a member of Foxhound. was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood, so he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? Why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. always an end to it but you are different what are you trying to say the path you walk on has no end no matter how far you go or how many corpses you crawl over the killing will never end it's a future without hope hear me snake my spirit will be watching you. Snake, it's me, Master. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Oof. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter. Or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then who is she really? She must be some kind of spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So, you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. A different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest, Colonel. What? She's betrayed us, Colonel. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Ah, oh, nothing. Colonel, have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? <sighs> Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I, I have no idea. Anyway, 
We cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry, Ben. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. Oh no, you double cross me. Ah, uh, well, as Snake says, it's strange. There's no guards around here. <laughs> this is. It's too quiet. Nobody patrolling. Okay. Uh, maybe we should have picked up those stingers. Nah, we got enough. Malak of Zoom. Nah, so we get this pathetic music. Oh my god, it's plastic gear. So the Rex model in this game was modeled after Metal Gear Rex action figure. So it's literally plastic gear. And we'll, we'll see once it starts moving, it gets even worse. There's the guy here. Be quiet. Nobody pulling. Snake, it's me. What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear. But it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, no mechanics. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. Yeah, no guards. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course. But there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep. That describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Snake, it's me again. How's it going? Uh, come on. Uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in? We gotta look at the details in this area. Okay, keep trying. Snake, I did it. You got past security. Bingo. Great. So what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the power override system that Baker talked about? Haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Mm, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean, it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one up until now? Because of the missile's rocket propulsion system. It would be picked up by enemy satellites. Because of that? But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to mm. penetrate hardened underground bases. We learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world. It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. It would push back the signing of the START III Treaty. If word gets out about this weapon, it'd cause a whole world of trouble. Yeah, it would be nasty. Oh, yeah. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the president down. Did you know this, <laughs> nice. I'm sorry. You've changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested. This is not as a new gift for the war experiments. Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back the up the simulation. The less you maneuver a remote controlled the missile, the it faster like it, it will fly. But I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Good. took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Lockers, Once snake. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So, you think they can do it? 
Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We are counting on you. So yeah, the fact that they completely changed the layout of this area. There's no more ladders, oh, no more loading screens, there's no more climbing on racks. And the addition of the pipes over there to quickly change the shape of the card. Uh, all of that completely destroys the fucking pacing of what's supposed to be going on in the background. Naomi gets gets arrested, interrogated, and escapes and calls Snake and gets captured again within like 15 seconds. It's insane. Uh, but um, hold on, we gotta do we gotta do the, the orgy call. Snake, did you find it? No, I haven't found out about the override system yet. But I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get back, isn't he? That's part of it. Guns Tech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. Uh, I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That, plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like they were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah. And Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. It's the next optional call with Otacon here. He says, an orgy of takeovers. No way he says that here. I found out a lot about the arms industry, though. After the Cold War ended, the United States slashed its defense budget by more than 15%. Naturally, the arms industry was severely affected. It resulted in an orgy of mergers and Oh my god, he still says orgy. They didn't censor orgy in Twin Snakes? I would not have guessed that. Nice. The company was about to go belly up. Ironically, the defense department was in pretty much the same situation. Thanks to big budget cuts, they were crazy. To the private sector to help fund their weapons development. On top of that, the government began to actively export their advanced weapons technology <laughs> to the private sector in order to maintain a high standard of quality in the country's My family friendly games. They decided on a joint development project for new weapon systems between the DOD and the private sector. And since both sides were in such bad financial shape, that's where all the backscratching came. Your grip has gotten stronger. So there was another reason for the joint development Gross. project here. Huh. It wasn't just President Baker trying to keep arms tech afloat. They were lucky that the railgun wasn't two inches longer because it can barely fucking fit <laughs> in the hangar. In the original, there's much more room in between the railgun and the, the wall here, but... Um, yeah, they just barely fucking parked it. <laughs> Look how fucking close it is to hitting the wall. Okay. But uh, let's go back to a little something. During the, the DARPA chief decoy octopus cutscene, I mentioned, remember how if, you, if you're facing Rex, when it shows you Rex in that cutscene, there's the, the camera changes to Rex's hangar. You can see a little bit of Rex, right? At the very beginning. And the camera starts relative to Rex, you're facing it from the top left what's that <laughs> some people will tell you oh that's a VR Easter egg they put a VR crystal target in there what a nice Easter egg but two things first of all this thing doesn't have any collision the bullets are going straight through it and hitting the ceiling behind it and see the bullet holes there and secondly that's just not what the VR targets look like so what I think happened since we have the camera starting from exactly that point for a cutscene is that they left a little developmental camera reference point for that cutscene to start the camera from there and they left it in the game somehow which is not at all surprising if you consider the um, technical state of this game towards the end. We'll see this and then we'll see uh, the real Twin Snakes. <laughs> Where they, they also left a fucking floating snake model in the background of a cutscene. The second snake model. So yeah, it's too perfect because that's kind of what they look like in like game editors. Like if you know a little bit a lot about like editing, and making maps and stuff, and considering where the camera starts from in that cutscene, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. It's fucking camera reference point left from development, probably unintentionally, 
given the the state of this game we must assume that it's unintentional but yeah let's see <laughs> and then when snake spoilers picks up gray fox's sword you can see a second snake in the background oh however shall i get through this doorway oh i know Disengage the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernatin, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lotnor, China. Why, boss? Liquid. I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site. If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the president will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the president's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India... I see. <laughs> yes. When the other countries hear about the new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. One billion dollars? All for money. That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the fox dye vaccine in our demands. Fox dye? It killed Octopus and the arms tech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with amphetamine and adrenaline levels in the blood. They deployed a product still in development into live combat. No surprise it was unreliable. They must have been desperate. In any case, have you heard from your friend Colonel Sergei Golukovich at Spetsnaz yet? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he is a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and the new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. <laughs> their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? <laughs> that Golukovich, he's no one. Yeah, they are fucking with Snake right now. They're saying things that they want Sneak to hear so that he puts the key in for them. But, well, they're able to see him. They're supposed to be able to see him through a camera that, I, if I remember, I was missing. I'll check in a second. We could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? 
<laughs> We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. It's going to be a long war. We could still escape. We have the new nuclear power, and we're going to ally with Galukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? <laughs> and what's wrong with that? Fighting the whole world? From here, we can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar and totally immune to interception. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. But boss, what about your promise to Colonel Glukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, you can call this place Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden? Oh my god, I have the other camera? No. Okay, so the camera is missing. Oh my god, I fucked it up. Okay. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him. Don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl, she's alive. Snake, I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They finished inputting the PAL codes. So, how do we deactivate them? Okay, you see, the override system that the president was talking about, it can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? You need the keys for input. Three of them. But I only have the one. Where are the others? Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. You input the keys in order from left to right. The left ones for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First I change the shape of the card, and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system, and it's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's that? <laughs> seen this next line but the key fell in the drainage ditch the key fell in the drainage ditch this this is bulletproof glass there's no way in i'll enjoy watching you die 
I'll enjoy nothing because there's no alert here. You've got to get that key. You know, I, I initially thought that they did this for the sake of keeping the score zero alerts, but it turns out there's other forced alerts and I'm just one anyway, so why the fuck is there no alert here? <laughs> <laughs> when you get spotted by Liquid himself, there's supposed to be an alert here, but they don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's just nothing. Okay. Well, you think I'm gonna go all the way down there? Wait, what is this? Backtracking? We don't do that. Nah. We're the cool kids now who do this instead. Ooh, there's a big rat. Oh, well, you can't lock onto him in this one, huh? This rat is dodging on fire. Okay. Oh, that camera is much lower, too. Completely fuck up the pace of everything going on in the background. Yeah, as I thought, there's supposed to be a third camera here, which is what they use to see Snake in the cutscene, which is kind of like a deactivated camera. But, um, it's just not there. Yeah, these two. And that's it. You got your room temperature Kojima, your low temperature Kojima. And your hot temperature, Kojima. <laughs> I couldn't find a better picture of Kojima in the snow. So this is the closest I could find to a cold Kojima. If somebody has a picture of Kojima in the snow, maybe. That's better than this. We can change it. <laughs> is your like it? And then I put a picture of the actual action figure that Rex is based on in this game. As you can see, Plastic Gear Rex. Be a couple here. A little liquid in there. <laughs> yeah, once once it starts moving, it will be clear that it's it's, it's made of plastic. Oh well. All right, let's go. I gotta change the. Um, because there's a little scene on these laptops, I think it changes the textures and stuff. So maybe it's not possible to maintain the Kojima in there. Maybe if you dump all the textures for this scene, you have to replace all of them with Kojima frames. Uh, And you can really hear that sniper wolf in this one. Okay, that takes care of pal code number. The computer one. voice of sniper wolf is actress. Now, pal number two, freeze the key. And I need to change this one too. After it's done, just put accepted on Kojima's face or something. <laughs> hey. Now, who would want to backtrack to change the shape of the key? Nobody. This is the superior version, after all. As far as I can go, sorry. Conveniently placed liquid nitrogen in hot steam pipes. 
Oh man, I've changed his icon. Well, that's okay. Wait. There's some stains in here. The shit really gets weird when you heat up the, the key and everything happens to Naomi within 15 seconds. It doesn't say accept it on the first laptop during this scene. <laughs> okay. okay. There goes pal code number two. Next comes pal number three. Warm the key. I don't know. This is a cool Kojima. This is where he's in sunglasses. Or a uh, hot Kojima. And. Did you like this? What? I don't even know what gifts are playing right now. The <laughs> viewer keeps changing them. Nice. Alright, here's the hot steam pipe. Somehow I managed to drop catch the same plant from which I dropped. Oh, let's have this conversation in midair. Snake, it's about Naomi Hunter. Then you should talk to the colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Die? No. Fox die. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but what are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently Fox die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it. I don't know what her motive was. Does the colonel know? I'm not sure, but he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages toward the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So, it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Die vaccine must be around somewhere. Is that all you think about? But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. Naomi was just arrested. They're currently interrogating her in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen seconds. Snake, can you hear me? It's Naomi. Naomi, what the hell? <laughs> Campbell and the others are busy right now. He's busy right now. A different Kodak. Okay. Naomi, is what the colonel says. That was a quick interrogation. But not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know anything. My parents' face is my name. Also, this is her worst fucking performance. It's been bad the whole the game, but this is the one where she's completely you know fucking true. asleep. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I'm playing in normal speed because I want people to hear it. My age, my race, anything. Naomi. 
I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s, a dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long, until I met my big brother, and him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier when he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man whom you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Gray Fox. We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He is everything to me. The only proof I have of my existence. Of my existence as an individual. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. But then he and my brother went back to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you. And I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes, that's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? I'll have my revenge on them, too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments. Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterward, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me. Somehow manages to get even worse when she's explaining Fox I I don't know how. I just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox. Naomi. Tell me something. About Fox Dye? Fox dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages. They begin creating TNF epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then, they cause a heart attack. The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then, the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Okay, maybe I'll put the bench emote you for Naomi next. <laughs> thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Die. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Die as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that... No. That's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing that I wanted to tell you was... Snake... Hey! What are you doing? 
Wake up. What are you doing? Snake. <laughs> Naomi? Snake. I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Oh, and there comes Naomi's Snake's the best delivery. Colonel, you double-cross me. What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. You double-cross me. You double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Jesus. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake. That that right there is the worst sneak line in the entire game. Holy shit. If you know what it sounds like in the original, he's like he sounds genuinely pissed, like Colonel, you double cross me. Colonel, you double cross me. Okay. What is voice acting direction? Who knows? Please just end this nightmare. Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mance's psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when I decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? Well, for starters, I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. We thought we'd get the info from you, but there was Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning? Just to get me to input the detonation code? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Die vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful. In the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come to where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake. That's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Maylene said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to... Me, dear brother. Liquid! How the... You've served your purpose? You may die. <laughs> I'm quite proud of that one. This is the alert music, by the way. If you couldn't tell. This, this is an alert theme. Okay. Hey, what the fuck? Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. Locker snake. I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. And then, as always with this game, the cutscene with Liquid starts right away when you walk out the doors and you don't get a chance to do anything or call anybody. And then we'll see the greatness of the. 
Rex White cutscene. Oh god. Liquid. Snake, did you like my sunglasses? Oh, you'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. You performed quite well, I must say. <clears throat> Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a pawn, Snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch? Rescuing the hostages? It was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us, so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged along with bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox Die. Fox Die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was. But it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Die's program just before the operation. But no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Die's program. Oh well, doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Die vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be. But that woman is the only one who really knows. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. Yeah, why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us. So we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the arms tech president and decoy octopus were killed by Fox Die. But Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm, could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles! You're fine. You got all of the old man's dominant genes. I got all the flawed, recessive genes. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. So you're saying I'm the dominant one? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they use to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? He's talking about this game. But I'm the one father chose. This game is a recessive copy so of him. You're so obsessed with Big Boss. We so understand what it's like to be in garbage. Ha, love, it's hate. He's choosing me knowingly to be the inferior one. For this, I want revenge. You don't even understand this. You, who could kill your own real father. You stole my chance for revenge. Now I'll finish the work that father began. I will surpass him. I will destroy him. You're just like Naomi. Gross. Well, I'm not like you. You. 
Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes. For now, genes. You missed your last it's a symbolic chance. nature of that shit in this game. Demon weapon. Phantom pain confirmed. Big medic used to put me in the back of the truck and, and things. You don't understand. I got keepered. She was ripping the plot in the background. <laughs> nice. It's moving. Where do I stop? That is. I know how to stop it. How about? We jump and tackle it head on. I think that might work. What, what exactly was the plan here? I'm not sure. Plastic gear, right. Quick, just jump on it. Alright. <laughs> Great plan. That needs some WD-40, man. I don't know, something wrong with it. All the sounds are off. It's squeaky and the... <laughs> just wait until this fucking thing actually starts moving. Look at that. There's definitely something wrong with this thing's animations. I don't know if it's made of plastic or... I know what it is. You know what it is? It looks like fucking stop motion. That's what it looks like. It looks like those robots in the Robocop movies. Trying to move around. <laughs> I can't quite put my finger on it, but... There's something wrong. Something ain't right. <laughs> oh, what's that, viewer? Is that a gift of... Exactly. That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, good. Plastic gear racks. Anyway, the best part of this fight, apart from the music that's completely missing, is the second part, so... Let's do that. all the good stuff. <laughs> Did that do it? Outwardly, we might have seemed like contented brother and sister. Who the fuck talks like that? Shit roar sound effect too. Nice try, snake. Hurry, get away. 
Grey Fox. A name from long ago. It sounds better than Deep Throat. So it is you. You look terrible, Snake. You haven't aged well. I'll send you back to the hell! <laughs> I have a gun on my arm. Let me throw the sword instead. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, the sword will be coming back. To do the best thing ever. taking revenge for you. Naomi. You're the only one who can stop her. No, I can't. Why? Because I'm the one who killed her parents. I was young then, and couldn't bring myself to kill her too. Oh, I felt so bad that I decided to take her with me. I raised her like she was my own blood, to soothe my guilty conscience. Even now, she thinks of me as her brother. Fox. Outwardly, we may have seemed like contented brother and sister. But every time I looked into her eyes, I trembled with fear. Tell her for me. Tell her that I was the one who did it. There you are! We're just about out of time. Here's a final present from Deep Throat. I'll stop it from moving. I don't know, English is hard, dude. What can I say? <laughs> And he cries like a little bitch when he gets his arm cut off. In the original, he doesn't make a sound. <laughs> okay. Is there a new picture for Quack and C? Damn it, what is it? What is viewer doing? Fox! How strong is that exoskeleton of yours? Snake, are you just going to sit by and Let's completely change the delivery here. Oh <laughs> fucking thing. I was talking about. Completely change the delivery this iconic line. What that could go wrong? Oh, the sword is coming back. Maybe we should do something with it. Immediately glance Snake's feet. Zendatsu. He destroyed the radar. You are indeed worthy of the code name Fox, but now you're finished! Now, fire the stinger! Fox! Can you really shoot? You'll kill him too!
There's a deep sense of urgency in this scene and its music no. and delivery. Yeah. Hold on. Soon. Soon. I can't do it. It's no good. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm truly alive. Nor truly dead. An undying shadow in a world of night. I can't shoot. I can't do it. No. I can't do it. I can't do it. Outer. Bingo. Nice. Hold on, no spoilers. Please. Die! Fuck! It's just a minor event. Every fox is dying, it's okay. Who cares? Snake! We're not tools of the government or anyone else. Fighting was the only thing. The only thing I was good at. But at least I always fought for what I believed in. Snake. Farewell. He is ready for the shittiest Rex war roar. No to mankind. Here comes the best line. Death is entreated. <laughs> the battle is decided. Walker uh. Snake. You see, you can't. Here comes the best part. Snake takes up the sword, suit. and he thinks about it for a second, and then the camera changes. What happens when the camera changes? Oh, one more. Uh oh. What's that in the background? Hmm. The twin snakes are real, after all. <laughs> It's the twin snakes. That's that's what they must have meant, right? I mean, Silicon Knights understood the assignment, indeed. Good. So, at first, I thought that this might have been maybe an emulation mistake. Yeah. So I went and checked on YouTube an actual GameCube playthrough. Skip ahead a little bit and pause here. And guess what? It's still there. <laughs> it's also much easier to notice when Snake is wearing pink suit, but it's still there on any and all versions of this game on actual hardware. Play this game in GameCube. Just pay attention here. The snake picks up the sword, camera changes a couple times. There's another fucking snake model in the background, just floating mid-air because this is a quality, professionally made piece of software. Let's move on. And now, the calls, of course. I mean, Grey Fox just died. There's a pretty interesting call with the Colonel, right? Uh, so, Colonel, Fox is dead. The less you maneuver a remote-controlled missile, the faster it will fly. Oh. If you want to fire the missile over a greater distance, the less you oh, I see. a remote-controlled <laughs> missile, the faster it will fly. Clearly, that's more important. But, wait, Colonel, Fox is dead. Has gotten stronger. Looks like your hard work is paying off. Mm. The less you maneuver a remote controlled missile, the faster you know what? Fly. Fuck you, Colonel. Never mind. The less you maneuver a remote controlled missile, the faster you <laughs> fly. Epic fight right here. Ah, 
down his ankle. Blech. Get over million with the raid. You Thank you. Welcome in. Good to see you, man. <laughs> you missed some of the best parts, unfortunately. Snake, your grip is strong. Yeah, they forgot to grip one. <laughs> So yeah, they didn't program those balls to play properly, of course. They just play on top of everything else. Ox is Maybe dead. Your grip has, your grip gotten, has stronger. gotten stronger. The less you maneuver, the more control missile. Let's fuck off. Upside down? Damn. Sleeping late That's as interesting. usual, eh, Snake? Liquid. Still was it just the the game up your screen die. it was upside down or the so controller too you still live too bad it looks like your rebel upside down screen failure. upside down controller maybe both just because you destroyed metal gear doesn't mean i'm done fighting Damn, you had to rearrange fighting. your brain to do that what are you really after the restoration uh, okay. of the era when warriors such as us lived as we should that was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. When he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things are different now. With all what the if you invert... Hypocrites running the world, war is what if you invert the camera? We're losing our place in a world that Wouldn't that no make a normal camera then? Us. If you're upside down? A world that now is that allowed? Very existence. You should know that as well as I do. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Conflict shall breed conflict. New hatreds will arise. And our own biosphere shall steadily expand. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? Isn't that reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie. So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? Well, I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing, that's why. What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? That was... <laughs> I, I watched your face as you delivered the coup de grace. Oh, it reflected such vitality. You're wrong. There is a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Created? Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was a man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. But Father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells with a combination of 20th century analog cloning and the super baby method super baby method they fertilized an egg with one of father's cells and then let it divide into eight clone babies then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. 
You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Yes. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. So, it was you and I. Two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. Now, apparently Big Boss goes into a coma every time he gets bonked on the head. So. Used me as a it's unfortunate. <laughs> it's not seen coma. Which all of the dominant genes were expressed. It wasn't a coma at all. It's just you. a translation thing. I got all the recessive genes. It's more like he lost his balls you or something. Took everything from me before I was even born. But you and I aren't his only children. What? The Genome Soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. But unlike us, they carry it digitally. With the completion of the Human Genome Project in the last century, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Those soldier genes were transplanted using gene therapy into the members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the genome soldiers. That's right. The genome soldiers that you've been killing right and left are our brothers with the same genes as ours. The genome soldiers? They are misshapen creatures, artificially produced from father's genetic pattern. They are our blood brothers, and they were born of many an ultimate sacrifice. This game is a misshapen creature. Human experiments. Huh? 1991, the Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about. That was just was a, a cover story thing. issued by the Pentagon. <laughs> Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome <laughs> was caused by exposure to pesticides and radiation from depleted uranium rounds. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. First, they tried to say it was post traumatic stress disorder, then chemical. Biological weapons. That is the where it shits itself a little bit with the FMVs. Anti-sarin injections. They were all just to cover up the secret experiments. So next slide, please. The so-called Gulf War that have been reported by Gulf War veterans. Are... For some reason, the emulator can't play yes. this FMV correctly. They too are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool. They're a complete failure. We're on the verge of extinction. What? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Nature tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem signs of symmetry so do i as do you that's right we are all on the verge uh, of death space the models are so fucking bad <laughs> we don't know when or what type of disease will occur that's why we need the old man's <sighs> genetic information you want the nose yeah <laughs> dna so you can save your family it's very touching <laughs> In nature, family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? Because it increases the chances that shared genes will be transmitted to future generations. Altruism among Bashi, blood relatives off of is a Mei Ling. response nice. to natural selection. That we will help our blood relatives is inscribed in our very He's genes. He's sleeping now. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? 
You can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole the purpose of passing on their misheritage <laughs> that fly. That's why I'll follow what my genes you are tell me. What is that elephant? And then I'm going to go beyond <laughs> in order to break the curse of mine. At this point, viewers are just putting random gifts on screen. And to do that, too much power. First, too much power for the immature species. <laughs> Look behind you. Meryl? This nuclear module, which is actually just alive? Semtex from Ninjas 2. Yeah, I'm not sure. She was okay. alive a few hours ago. Poor girl kept calling your name. Nuclear Meryl. Semtex, yeah, that'd Stupid be something. Woman. Falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No, we have no past, no future. If we did, our fate is nothing but what is determined in the genes we inherited from our father. Let Meryl go. As soon as we finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a BDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me. The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. What? Not only that. B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the John Snake. Is he related to John Konami? Heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence, along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may be only a figurehead here. I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Meryl was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You'd better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you after all the lies. Colonel... I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. Huh? What are you doing? Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the colonel? I don't believe it! What happened? Snake, the colonel! Roy Campbell has been relieved of duty. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Hausman. Put the colonel back on! He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. Yeah. Yes, he is a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. You bastard. There won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the president would want the same thing. The president ordered this? The president is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining the nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Damn it! You'll be murdering everyone here! The scientists, the genome army, everyone! Donald, the DARPA chief is already dead. So you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh, well. That's okay. You two are an embarrassment. 
embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. You're just the lingering ghosts of a system that is no more. Well, do try to get along in the time you have left before the bomb. You are, what have you done to those gifts? I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, there's no way out for us. Let's finish this before the airstrike. You Snakes stole flush gloves. from me. <laughs> I shall nullify you and your Out teams, and I will take them. Oh, are they all back. rising things now? She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. Nail polish and flesh gloves. Do you, you see, see this? this? It's Semtex, this but the time limit for our final battle. let's call it nuclear module. When death comes <laughs> for this girl, this nuclear module shall vanish from this world as well. If you win, you might still be able to save her. Oh, he doesn't start the you timer when he says that. Brief moment of love. So you have like 30 Before extra seconds in this. Look at his face. <laughs> Nuclear symptoms. Cross this line, you'll fall. At this height, it'll kill even you. It's April first. Or it was April first when we started all of this. How at you, snake? No, he's not talking about Rex. All right. Greatest fight ever. Fuck, I mean, don't bother to just fucking get it over with. Yeah, you don't have the um, 30 seconds missing from the first attempt. Because the cutscene just plays differently. In the fight, too, they completely remove the last phase and the last mechanic to it, which is to throw him off Rex. In order to have a cool cutscene instead. This way. Right. God, it's so unsatisfying compared to the real one. Okay, those are all rising gifts now. <laughs> it's a sign, let it play rising next. I genuinely rather be playing rising than this shit. anything in this. In fact, I can't wait for it to be over. I'll be free for another year. This is just pure pain. Here we go. Oh, we need another little hit. Hurry! Uh, it almost looked right for a second there. We did drain his health and it's still going, but no. You don't have to throw him off. This is cooler.
Unless you maneuver a remote controlled <laughs> missile, the no, chat it did fly. the right thing and killed the barrel. The fucking elephant. Viewer, please, with all these gifts, this inap inappropriate gifts. Meryl. Uh, fuck. Get the fuck out of here, Meryl. We need an autocon to roll down Meryl. the cliff. It really fucking fools you, as the first two notes of the music are, are the same, but now <laughs> it Gross. almost sounds like it's Enclosure is about to play. But now, here's your generic shit music. Unfortunately, we had to do the Meryl ending a couple times. Happy, thank you for the 69. Nice. into my pain I sold your life to save my own I'm a loser I'm not the hero you thought I was I'm nothing The flesh gloves are too good. I don't know what the fuck happens Meryl, to the textures here, but... I'm okay. sorry. Forgive me. Otacon? She's gone, Snake. Because of me. I guess blaming yourself makes it easier, huh? Focusing on that will keep you from thinking about her death. What the hell do you know? Meryl's dead. I lost. So, are you gonna stay here and die? Along with her? Snake. How the People fuck did all that come on top of Rex anyway? But death is not defeat. That's what Hemingway said. I lost Probably the same way he got too. down the stairs and communication style. defeat? She and I will be He's probably doing backflips in the background too. We didn't lose anything. Together. Forever. A wolf. It's true that Wolf is dead. But our love didn't die with her. Life isn't just a game of win or lose. Don't you think? Let's live, Snake. Is there a bulge in his pants? There's a parking garage right next door. We can get to the surface from there. Come on. I released all the security locks. It'll be okay. We can escape. You have my word on it. Otacon. You've changed. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know? Happy with a five, give it to subs, thank you. Is love blooming on the battlefield, or are you just happy to see me? It started. Those guys seem like they only hurry when they're destroying things. Good. Let them destroy it. But they can't destroy the human spirit. This game does an awesome job of destroying the human spirit. Okay. For me, at least. Let's go. I'm genuinely happy when it's over and free for for a no. year. I hope you're still watching me. You'll see if I'm a legend.
legendary man or not. Yeah, I, I really want to play other shit right now. Fuck this game. like that how to find sneaking suit a yolo swag suit hmm my sneaking suit you better hurry Between the textures and the tooth. <laughs> Solar armpit stance, let's go. Now you look like yourself again. <laughs> Must keep my arms up at all times. Yeah, the models in this game are just pure shit. <laughs> ah, what happened to the to your right kid? Oh well. Hurry! You were fucking around with the sounds in the background. Ah, the escape theme. One of the most memorable, iconic. I'll take the wheel. Never mind. It's not there. Uh -oh. A surveillance camera. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. It doesn't play for some reason. Well, since we have no escape theme, we gotta make our own. What's that?
guess so. Otacon, can you move? It's no use. I can't move. Is you like it? Snake! Snake, your grip has gotten stronger. Oh no. He's dead. <laughs> nah, he stands up again. It's fine. Riggy, thank you. Nice. The less you maneuver a remote controlled missile, the faster it will fly. <laughs> Ah, fuck this, I'm out of here. I don't want to be in this game anymore. Nice. Did you like it? Outer Bingo. Ah, finally, it's over. There are no more rules of nature or anything crazy like He's that, dead. right? That means. Don't think about it, Snake. Locker's snake. What happened to the air raid? No stealth bombers in sight. Oh my god. You were. Where'd you find what all these the gifts? Music? Snake, can you hear me? Colonel. Are you okay? Colonel. What Locker's happened? snake. The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. The less you maneuver a remote controlled arrested. missile, the faster it will fly. I was able to get in contact with the president. Metal gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 bombers are returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, about Merrill. I already know. Colonel, Merrill was my daughter. What? I didn't find out until recently. I got a letter from her mother, my dead brother's wife. I was going to tell her after this operation was over. Colonel, I... It's okay, Snake. Thanks anyway. Snake, I'm sorry I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, The less Colonel. you maneuver a remote-controlled <laughs> missile, the faster it will fly. That's right. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mainly you saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expected you to come home alive. Me neither. I'd better not show my face around there. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. Mm, that's not too far from the truth. There's also a helicopter waiting for you at the Fox Islands. Okay, Roy. Are you going to be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all of Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I'll look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Dye. What about me? The cure of liquid. Naomi said she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mailing's with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Trying to keep her awake. It's me. Naomi. I heard. About my brother. Uh, Fox. No. Frank. Wanted to tell you something. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie you said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought on sheer willpower until the very end. Maybe. Maybe now he's finally found some peace. 
My brother was already dying. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar Land, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Eye, too. What about me? When am I going to go? It's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time's up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live Snake. Outer Bingo. Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code, inscribed into their genes. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before, the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was, where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in oh. life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I, I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information. Gross. But that doesn't make them to the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that it's genetic information houses a person's strengths Gross. destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether you've been programmed or not isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then... to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. You suck! Living is a yeah, I should have slowed it down way more than that. All life is tethered to the future. Oh well. <laughs> I used to have notes how much to do it, but whatever. Teaching each new generation. <laughs> it's over! Finally! I'm free! No more twin snakes for a year. Fuck this game. The true meaning of life. Ugh. <sighs> Such a good feeling every time you finish this shit. Until today, I've only lived for myself. Survival has been the only thing I cared about in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? I want to enjoy life. I really do. How about you, Otacon? Me? I feel like a new man. So what are you going to do? Continue your research? No. Science and technology are fine, but humans are my interest now. Sounds good. Gross. The whole reason I got into science in the first place was because I was no good with people. I was scared of them. I was scared of life. I thought that I could never understand them because they're so illogical. But I finally learned how to like people. There's no reason for me to be afraid anymore. You and I are more alike than I thought. I'm no wolf. But I'm not going to just stand on the sidelines anymore. I'm going to stand on my own two feet. I'm not going to hide anymore. You're giving up your stealth camo? Huh? 
Oh, yeah. You can have it. Hello, Cuervo. Did you like it? <laughs> the fucking calculator. So, this is where we say goodbye to our loves as well. Did you like it? Want me to drive? No, thanks. I'd rather do it myself. No problem. Where to, Snake? My real name is David Otacon. The less you I'm maneuver how, a remote-controlled missile, the oh, faster right. it will fly. How? You just stage all the sounds of that kid. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should take a trip to Jupiter. Lockers, Snake. So, where are you going, Dave? Hmm. I think it's time for me to look for a new path in life. A new path? A new purpose. Will you find it? I'll find it. I know I'll find it.
Did you like it? You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether you've been programmed or not isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then... Locker live. Snake. <laughs> and then Locker Snake. Yes, Did you like it? The entire unit was 